Hello, everyone, and welcome to OTK Game Day Season 2, Episode 2, the 2023 season. I'm here, joined by Myth. He is uh, our co-caster for today. My name is S Fan, and welcome to welcome to OTK Game Day. Uh, we got a we got a really big show. <clears throat> we got a really big show planned today. Uh, we're very yes, excited. Yes, we do, S Fan. Yes, we do. What are you excited to see today, Myth? S Fan, I'm excited for the athleticism of these, uh, you know, purebred gamers out on the court, in game, in MMOs, in shooters, in VR, they have shown to have the movement and have the capabilities to get shit done. So now I'm really excited to see that happen on the basketball court today. Mm. Yeah, let's go. Uh, we're gonna show off the schedule for the remaining OTK game days. We have uh, basketball coming up today, of course, and then we are gonna have softball uh, not next week, but the week after. On March 17th, we'll be doing softball. And then the week after that, March 24th, we'll be doing flag football. So we're very, very, very excited about uh, the upcoming OTK game days. Last week was incredible. And uh, who won gonna... last week? <laughs> last week, uh, red team won. No, blue team. Blue team won. Blue yeah, team. my team. Yeah, the team that I Your was team. on. Your team? Yes. Did you, did you play? I did, I did. Oh, so yeah. so you finally helped somebody win something. Yeah, it was Instead great. Of, and you, you like know what's crazy? You, you know, you know what's crazy, myth. <laughs> you know up? why it was so much better this time than whenever we played kickball was not only was I not wearing full pads, but also it was because of Starforge PCs, which is going to help out our players today in OTK Damn game day. Right. Yes, big thanks to Starforge PCs, StarforgeSystems.com. Wow, look at that thing. That thing's wow. a beaut. Isn't that RGB beautiful, man? RAM, GeForce, RTX, RGB, triple fan suction out from the bottom, T-Force Gigabyte RAM to fuel your Starforge PC. Get That's one right. now, or get three, get four, get five. And you'll have almost as many as an MP. <laughs> Next Gen Systems, available now, StarforgeSystems.com. Check it out if you guys haven't yet, if you guys are looking for a, uh, a pre-build, StarforgeSystems.com. Also, something else that's going on, a lot of you guys have already heard about it. We know because we've seen the sales. Huge sale. OTK spring sale up to 40% off on all the merch. Sheesh. Massive sale. Massive Y'all sale. Y'all are shameless going on right as now. fuck over here, bro. We Real shameless. Five minutes I mean, into the stream, we got two ad reads. Yeah, we're taking it all off. Okay, we're taking <laughs> it all off. 40% off, though. Up to, baby. Yeah. So uh, it's it's up to up to up to up to, but yeah no it's uh it's big time uh obviously those have been uh, going pretty well so we know a lot of people already heard about it, but in case you hadn't uh the OTK spring clearance sale you guys should check it out so I would do another ad read uh, but we ran <laughs> out so let's go over the rules <laughs> guys rules. today there will be two teams of eight players who will face off in four 12 minute quarters. Normal baskets are worth two points. Shots made outside the three-point line are worth three points, and free throws are worth one point. Do you also, know what I like? there will be. Yeah, go ahead. I, I like the fact that we have to lay out what the rules are for the fucking rules of basketball. basketball. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the thing. It's, it's, it's not the rules of basketball. It's the rules of game day. And the biggest rule of game day for this week is that last rule: no slide tackles. So. There is slide tackling. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, yeah. I'm guessing somebody got hurt, but yeah, it wasn't good. This will move onward. Good. What? Is, so, so, do you think? Do you think that it's a? It, it was something that was necessary for us to actually go ahead and, and give them the exact rules of basketball myth, or do you think people uh, have known that? No. Well, here's the thing. Chat. I think chat would have gotten it. Would have gotten it down. The goddamn streamers themselves that are playing the event. Fuck no. These guys need to be told exactly what to do, when to do it, 30 minutes before they actually do it. So I think that was a wise choice by you guys to implement the rules and to let them know about it. Mm. Well, on that note, speaking of the players, let's go ahead and introduce our first group of guys. First right, up. Here we go. <clears throat> there he is, E-Rob. Look at him. Look at that form. Look at that. Mm. Oh, well, damn, that was. E-Rob sporting an orange tank top today and gray shorts, missing his second consecutive basket. E-Rob, also known for being the variety streamer of the year winner. That is a true stat that we got. Um, then he also asked his editor to make a highlight reel of him from today that we'll see how that turns out because 
he, I doubt he'll make a bucket. And he's also going to get kicked from TSM if he loses today. That is true. I had a call with Reginald earlier this morning. Yeah, he was pissed, wasn't he? He was very mad. He said, E-Rob, if you don't make big buckets today, you're off the goddamn team. Yeah, so hopefully... Hopefully E-Rob does his best and uh, actually, well, hopefully he does better than his best because, you know. Next up, we have Emru. Look at that. Oh, she doesn't want to play. She, she tried to give the ball away right away. Oh, look at that. Look at the, no, look at the handles. No, no. <laughs> look at that. Oh, look at the skills. Oh, oh. Oh. oh, okay. Russell's getting a bit aggressive with it. Take it away, <laughs> S-Man. So uh, Emru, uh, big, big stat line last week. She had uh, 14 seconds of game time. Uh, which is huge. Uh, she also told Erod before the game that she is going to dunk on him. Uh, mm. She's also really good at setting up picks by standing there. That's an important part of the process. Mm -hmm. It is huge. I, have, I mean, yeah, uh, ha having that uh, court awareness is what we call mm. it. That is very true. And up next, we have the one, the only, the goddamn king of variety gaming himself, Seer, ladies and gentlemen, sporting a fit, unbelievable, faking out Seer, crossing him, sheeshing all over the court. This is exactly the type of performance that we expect from Seer all day today. Seer, he played for the Queenstown Quirkers in college. Very Incredible popular career. basketball team, if you're not Incredible. aware of. He scored 35 points in 20 games consecutively. Mm -hmm. He also asked if he could wear a turtleneck under his jersey. He, we didn't get to see that today, but you know, uh, he, he does like wearing turtlenecks and currently has six moms on the bleachers cheering for him. Yeah, which is, uh, I mean, that, that is a true statement as well. That is completely accurate. One of them is my mom. And, and the other is mine. Next up we have Simply. Uh, Simply is, uh, he's, oh, is he, oh, nice. Very good. Simply is gonna have a big game today. <laughs> And that's the big thing. Confidence is key with Simply. You can see he just shoots and he doesn't even need to look at it. You know, cool guys don't look at explosions. Basketball players don't look at the buckets. Uh, his only strategy for today really is going to be to be tall. And uh, he calls halftime his first split. And there's also a 99% chance that he will be taking off his shirt today. Myth, have you, uh, have you seen Simply uh, take off a shirt recently? S fan, I can't say I have. Would you He's, do you have any details about his physique? What's going on under that shirt? He he is a man's man. He's a man's man. He is a man. He, like that is a manly man. <clears throat> is it like brushing your fingers through a carpet? Uh, I I would say more than a carpet. I would say a a, a Persian rug almost. Nice. Mm -hmm. Almost, almost. Next up, myth. Go ahead and take it away. Uh, uh next up we have. Who's the person? I'll be, wait, who is it? <laughs> Next up, we have somebody. What was it? It's S Van. Be quiet. I can't hear him talk to me in my Jimmy ear, dude. Here. Jimmy Jesus. Here. Next up, we have Jimmy's here. Jimmy's, is it here or here? Jimmy here. Jimmy here. Jimmy is here. And look at him with his long hair. He is here. He's not shooting any buckets. And uh, he's taking his time here, trying to, you know, wave and hide to the camera, looking good. And Jimmy here, there we go. Thank God, I got the name correct. Uh, it is Saturday, my dudes. Wait, is this the, it's Saturday, my dudes, dude? It's, the, it's Wednesday, my dudes. It's the Wednesday, my dudes, dude? Yeah. Shit. It's the other guy, the other one. <laughs> OTK stepping it up. Try to play yeah. in Spider-Man suit and goggles. And uh, I forgot what his last tip was. I didn't have enough time because I well, stalled I mean, too the, hard. The big thing, the big. Oh, he's a great guy, horrible at basketball. Though. Okay, we didn't need to cover that one. Okay, well, yeah, we can go ahead and skip that again. But we did. Uh, oh, so here's uh, here's the greatest part about OTK and, and what we do here at game day. And, yeah. Um, I, it's not not only is it not Wednesday and Jimmy is here, we put in the graphic it's Saturday and in reality it's Friday. <laughs> so we really have no idea what the hell is going on. Hey, Next up, that's okay. Because Will Neff is up is next up on the table. And if you want to talk about athleticism, if you want to talk about Okay, there's a trash look can. At that, on the look, court. At, look at that. Oh, um, look at oh, look at the handles. Buddy, look at the handles. Gonna... Look at the skills. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, the dribble, the dribble. Oh, dropping it down low. Nice. Look at that. Oh, look at the charisma. Look at the swagger. Look at look the ferocity in his eyes. That's that's Will Neff, boys. That's Will Neff. Damn. That is Will Neff. Will Neff came back just to hang out with Seer. He also coined the nickname 
free throw Willie. Ask Caroline to stay home so he can win MVP this week. Will Neff, as you guys know, if there's a competitor out here that wants to win this more, even though there really isn't anything to win, it's Will Neff. Yeah, I mean, I don't, e I don't even know if he went back home to LA since uh, since he came last week. I mean, I think mm. he, uh, I, I, I'm, he's just back and forth so much. It's so fast, speed. So Will Neff, ladies and gentlemen, we're very excited. Next yes. up, we have Cinna joining us today. Cinna, the oh under the leg, oh getting tackled by Tectone. Cinna, good. Okay, so. Uh, one thing with Sin, I mean, we got to we got to see some better balance. Hopefully, during the game, uh, <laughs> some people call her Latina Emeru. Uh, Yo, <laughs> never touched a basketball in her life, and also she just wants to see Tectone fail, which I wouldn't blame her after the uh, current uh, debacle that we just saw. Uh, is is that what happens if you're a girl that has like black hair I, and I, you're I, around I, the OTK circle? Think... Is you just get called like whatever ethnicity you are? That's uh, and yeah, then I mean, if even. If even. That's funny. I mean, it's just, yeah, it's just, if you have black hair, I mean, it's pretty much the, <laughs> it's kind of uh, absurd at this point, so. All righty, up next we have. Miss Kiff. Miss Kiff, mm, Ms. Kiff is standing there. As you can see, this competitor right here is standing at a tall seven oh, foot what a four, dick. but he ripped a banana. Dude, oh, I don't get it. What? Why Bro. did he just fucking waste the banana? You, I Are you fucking hate me? content creators. Scuffed Homelander, Miss Kiff is. Stated Soda Poppin is his next target. Now says break an elbow instead of break a leg. Miss Kiff, everyone. <laughs> yeah, he does do that, doesn't he? It was breaking arm before breaking elbow. Oh, it was breaking <clears throat> it was breaking arm before breaking elbow? Yeah. But and now after breaking a leg. Yeah, he's okay. the limb, he's the limb collector. So Next up, gotcha. we have drum roll. Extra Emily joining us, who is getting sturdy on the court today. Uh, last week, she had an incredible performance. She was on the offensive side of the field in soccer for the entire time that she played and spent the majority of the game completely off sides. Uh, she learned the rules of basketball from Space Jam. Ooh, and good she movie. Is most, it's actually a phenomenal movie. Most likely to shout hip hip hooray if she makes a three pointer and is going for a positive field goal percentage. Mm. I'm gonna be honest. I think um I think extra Emily here is a is a wild card player for whichever team she's on. I think there's the <laughs> spirit, the attitude. That's something you want from a teammate. Mm -hmm. And that's thankfully nice. there's no offsides in basketball. <clears throat> Alrighty. And up next, we have the BPJ. There he is, the man himself, Soda Poppins, daycare owner, operator, manager, everything you could imagine. And the reason why Soda Poppin is where he is today, BJP. All right, he is a sleeper pick. He comes out of his second retirement to defeat Soda Poppin. He said, I built you up, bitch. I'm gonna tear you down. And he also knows more about basketball than anyone else here. You know what's crazy? As I was talking to BJP last night before the game, and you know he, he was going through his uh, uh, pregame sort of night before the game ritual, taking care of his body, getting hydrated, getting the carbs in. And he was talking to me about how, hey, this is uh, this is the big show for him. You know, last year he came mm -hmm. in, he put a whooping on Chance, and uh, he he really was excited to do that again. He really wanted to make sure he knows who the best of the the. Uh, of that family's brothers are so he's looking for some he's just trying to nail in that just nailed in the coffin even more here as fan is what you're telling me yeah that's what it's all about that's what's up i like that mm -hmm. unfortunately he is also a cowboys fan uh like myself <laughs> yeah next up we have tectone who actually got that ball from cinna that is the same ball that he uh stole from cinna earlier Tectone. Tectone's a good dude. You know, we shared a uh, we shared a plot in r slash place. <laughs> really? Yeah. Love Tectone. Dude, dude up, your plot in r slash, r slash place was phenomenal, by the way. Oh, thank you. People didn't know. People thought they were looking for subreddits about meth, but it's just myth. <laughs> it was us. But I confused a lot of Reddit because of that. Yeah, well, that's how it goes. Tectone, his uh, head is actually shinier than the court. 
Uh, he is going to say this game is badass <laughs> at least eight times today. And he also performed the greatest halftime show last week in Twitch history. No, he said the head is shinier than the court, bro. You look at his picture too. That shit is glazed. <laughs> oh, and then now going on to our next competitor, a fellow Fortnite phenom, gamer, entrepreneur, legend, Cypher PK, showing how it's done, rising up to the court and L dancing on his opponents. Damn. I'm very excited to watch Cypher PK perform today because, um, and then for a few things, his physique, mm. his mental, mm. and for the fact that he is what E-Rob thinks he'll look like on the court today. Absolutely, absolutely. Then he's going to dominate everyone else here and he will slam dunk the ball at least five times. He yeah, might he be the a, only person that can dunk. He had a hell of a showing. He had a hell of a showing last year at a OTK game day basketball. And uh, we're very excited to see him put it on again. We're also very excited for a new member here to the uh, OTK game day basketball roster. And that's Wake Wilder. So Wake's gonna be here, Wake walking in at six foot six, 225 pounds. We think he's gonna be big time on the oh, basketball court today. There's a lot of eyes I on love him. this. This rep in oh, America I, today. Yes, he is. And he's like, he gave us like a, a first person POV. Like we were like, we were the nerd in gym right there. That was great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is a Giga Chad. He actually is the Giga Chad. He is the original, the, the Giga Chad picture that people have seen is a Photoshop picture of Wake. Uh, he is the only person here that can cover Cypher PK, and he is the type of guy to give motivational speeches to teammates on the bench. Mm. And next up, we have... Next up, we have the king of the cats, the king of them all, <laughs> Soda Poppin', folks! Look at him dash up in the court, left, right, back, forth, going across and making it happen and showing one of the moms that are there for Seer what it's all about. Soda popping, yeah, making it work. One, yeah, one of the moms that are there for Seer uh, just got worked by Soda popping, and it was uh, incredible to see. He uh, does not want to be here still, and uh, he is actually going to rename himself after this to Soda Hoopin because of how well he's going to play, and the only trouble he does is to see his PNG girlfriend. Mm -hmm. up, okay, up next, we, <laughs> up next we have the one, the only, Russell! Russell has three water bottles in his hands because he knows that he will die otherwise. Russell has been on an adventure, uh, a fitness journey lately, and I think OTK basketball is the perfect place for him to show exactly what he's been working on. And I uh, don't know if, he's, if he plays basketball regularly or not, but I feel like Russell could really be a team player here as he's trying to make the bucket with the bottle, but misses horribly. Uh, Ru <clears throat> Russell, uh, Russell's ry his r rhyme wins at basketball. What the fuck is a rhyme? Oh, hey, rhyme just appears sometimes. Rhyme. Yeah, it wins just at basketball. Sometimes. Ninety percent mm. chance to throw an air ball, and he's go to or an, or an air water. Oh, an air water. True. Mm -hmm. His go to artist for pregame warm up is Ice Spice. Yes. He is a huge oh my fan God. of Ice Spice. Bro, Ice Spice, oh, bro, that, that. Oh, but I can't eat mm, it without mm, you, mm, but I can't mm, sleep mm, enough mm, without you. So mm, 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 I love that song, bro, that I, song is I, crazy. I also know what Ice Spice is. Are you a munch, S fan? I, I don't know what Ice Spice is. I was just trying to look cool. I'm gonna be honest. Hold up, S fan, do you know I, what a munch is? I was trying is? to fit in. Yeah, but you, thought, are you a munch? I thought I thought munch was between like I thought it was breakfast, lunch, munch. No, 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 that ain't, that ain't a munch, S fan. That ain't a munch. Are you a munch? You want me to teach? You know what a munch I is? Mul I know what mulch is. Mulch is like for for farming, like for around a tr around a tree. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, uh, okay. I'm getting a big report in actually from uh, HQ. Our next guest for today is NMP the big man and he's currently in the bathroom 
actually. Oh. So yeah, he is dropping a fat deuce. So mm. uh, that it is why he's again. not. Yeah, it's leaking. Um, I would hate to be on that court as fast. Yeah, and I, so would he. That's why he's in the bathroom right now. Mm -hmm. So uh, he will return shortly, uh, hopefully before the game start. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. and they're cleaning his leaky ass. Oh, God, Nick. He got it on, all man. over the floor. Horrible, dude. Actually horrible. So, See, yeah. Go ahead. For example, last fan, NMP, a munch. Oh, that's what Like, undoubtedly. Yes. Nick Munch Palm. <laughs> Nick Munch Palm. What is yes. munch? That is exactly what it stands for. Mm. Um, a munch is, how do I describe this so that our sponsors don't get frustrated with us today? Mm -hmm. um, a munch is a man that will be there for a woman to a certain degree sexually, but then not receive anything on the other uh, side. That's all. Mm. Mm -hmm. A munch. Oh, 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 okay, cool. Yes. But <laughs> S-Fan, hold that thought because I think Milena is ready to take us out into the court. We'll send it to you, Milena, out on the court. Take it Hi. away. Hello, and welcome back to game day. We're here today on the court. We're about to play basketball. We have some new fun players today, and we're going to see kind of what they're good for now in the beginning. Uh, we have way too many basketballs in the court. Sorry if you know it's bothering you, but that's that's the name of the game. Uh, Wake, as you can see over here. Look at that outfit. That is just crazy. And Nick finally got done dude, pooping. Dude, dude. It was an emergency I'm poop. not going to lie. I'm going to have to go back up there and rewipe second half. That shit was liquid, Nobody bro. asked. Nobody asked. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. That. that was bad. You ruined your player card. That was bad, dude. My stomach was really upset, but I feel a lot better now. So. Have you heard about fiber? <sighs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's talk to some players. Scope out who you guys are going to vote as captains today. Hopefully, we'll not be too, too, you two guys again. I do not want to be a captain. Nope. Do not vote me. Who do you guys think should be captains, though? Let's just uh, skew the vote. Extra Emily and Emmeru. So not Nick? You're just that big of an asshole? I think equality is important. It's March. It is uh, Women's Month. And I think that Extra Emily and Emmeru would be fantastic captains. Me and you, Robert, out. I think, I disagree with him. Not about the women's thing, but uh, I think it should be Wake and Cypher. I think that's fair. What, do we even know if they're good? They're tall. That's and never that sucks. That's all you need. Okay. There could be some surprises here. Who do you guys think is going to be the biggest surprise? Me. Okay. We're going to go talk to someone else. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. This is a new player here. Uh, are you excited oh, to be God, here? Sorry. Yeah, no, it's going to be great. Are you good at basketball? Yeah, no. They actually told me because I don't play sports, I'm overqualified. So. Oh, should be fine. okay, true. Do you think you can make a shot from here for us? Yeah, watch this. Uh, what do they say? Curry? Curry? Oh. I'm pretty you, sure it's Kobe. No, if you close your eyes, like, it went in. It went uh, in. Oh, okay. okay. Is it Kobe? Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. that's great. So, okay. so it'll be a good game. Who, who do you think is going to be the best player today? <laughs> Cypher PK. Is that because he's tall? Yeah. Did you see him dunk earlier? Yeah, and then he pushed me over and also dunked on me too, so. What an asshole. Yeah, okay, honestly. well, thank you. Thank yep, you. What is no that problem. Problem to do? Yep, no problem. Have fun. Um, let's talk to Rusty, shall we? Let's go get a few words. No, actually, Seer, superstar. Yeah. You excited? Yeah. Do you think you're going to do good? Yeah. Okay, who do you think is going to be the best player here? You, okay. Who do you think? <laughs> okay. Hey, that's hot. That's right. It's that one head. That's right. that's right. Simply, can we get some words with you? Oh, of course. Can we get a little interview hey. here? Um, are you Hi. good at basketball? I have balled in the past, and I can make three-point shots. I'm pretty tall, taller than most people here, and I think that's where I'm going to get most of my advantage. So we're doing these talks now to figure out who's going to be captain. Who do you think should be captain today? Okay. You see that man right there that looks absolutely amazing with the headband over there? He is, he actually balls. So he should be, he is a, I don't think he should be captain, but he's a good guy. Um, probably Earl. How about like, Nick? Is he good at basketball? Maybe he's a good eye. No, no. Oh, uh, no. I think it should be Nick. Well, you're very biased, so your opinion literally doesn't matter at all. <laughs> Anything else? No, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, guys. See you on the floor. Will, can we get some words?
<laughs> All right, Will. Will, who do you think should be captains today? Well, you know, I, you just gotta go out there and give it 110%. Whoever the captain is, doesn't matter. It's all about maximum effort out here. Uh, I think you're right. So who do you think is a secret weapon today? Well, I mean, Seer crossed me up pretty good. He's got those crazy legs. But I'm gonna tell you, my man Tectone has got height and he's got air flight. Do you think he has the stamina that it requires to play basketball? Absolutely fucking not. Okay, well, thank you so much. It was nice talking to you and good luck today. Thanks, see you out there. Okay. That was not Tectone. No, Nick? Who was that? Uh, that was uh, Will Neff. Who do you think should be captain today? I think I should be captain. I never get picked captain. Yeah, and I, I, and I always do the best too. and they never pick me. I think you should be captain too. You wonder why? It's because I'm a jackass and everyone, no one likes everyone me. Everyone just says that uh, uh, Cypher and uh, Wake should be captain. That's fair. Tall. On, That's Wake. fair. Come here. Yep. How do you think Nick's uh, hamstrings are going to be today? I think we've primed him with all the knowledge of the human body he requires to best navigate this consistent, I mean, I mean just true biological In failure. two words. Nick, good. Okay, that is great. That's all we kind of needed. I'm ready. You know? Okay. Are you excited? I wish you could play. Well, guys, wouldn't it be cool if Milan was out there playing? I can't playing? play in these. These are, these are way too tough for me to play in. That's the whole point. I just want to I played be a basketball with Milana player. once and she started tackling people. She's like, what, you can't like do this? this? It's fun, but I I, miss, I confused it for American football. Well, I think you should just look at the people here shooting, because you guys are will be the ones voting the captain. I personally would put, pick Nick. Are you guys ready to open the polls to see who's going to be captain? Hmm. I think I'm ready. I'm ready to see who's going to be captain. The poll is now live. Take a nice glance at everyone here. Who do you want to be the captain today? But if the boys are in different. No, I just don't want you to die. You got this, make it. Okay. No, no. Fuck it! Oh! We have the results in. Can we please gather everyone on a nice line? Line up players! Are you guys ready for the results? All players on the line. Let's see if streamers can make a line. <laughs> oh, see, they're doing it. Good one. Yeah, great. Okay. Captains today. Number one, Emiru. What? Yeah! And then number two, of all people, again, it's E-Rob. Yeah! <laughs> bro, my community does not I vote for me. I deserve captain, not you, bro. Who the fuck are you? Be the last pick. Bro. I'm Jordan. You're not even fucking Pippin. You're nobody, buddy. Okay. You're Muggsy Bones. Okay. You're Muggsy Bones, hey, buddy. Hey, go back. Hey, hey, hey. Calm down. Calm down. Okay. Can we have the captain armbands? <laughs> okay, apparently we don't have them today. Someone took them in the Okay. Nick, how do you feel about not being chosen captain? You know what? It is what it is. I'm just going to fill in whatever role, whatever team I get picked for. I'm going to try my best and I'm going to try to win. So it's okay. <laughs> wow. What a, good guy. what a great guy. Uh, I okay. never get picked. <clears throat> can we get you guys. Uh, can we get Finn around here and then you guys can do rock, paper, scissor? Who's going to get first pick? Oh. oh, wow. Okay, you get the first pick. Ah, uh, Wake. Wow. What a mistake, but you know, we'll do that. Uh, Cypher. Whoa. Yeah! That's a good pick. That's a good pick. Will Neff. Let's go, boys. Yeah. Let's go. Oh. Nick. Nick. Nick Pollum. All right, let's get it back. Let's run it back, yeah. Don. Extra Emily. Woo! Right, baby. Thanks, Woo! Hero. Locker room leader. Uh, BJP. Yo, let's go, let's go. Running it back. Running Come it back. on. Here we go. We got a locker room leader. A really good voice oh, in here. Tactown. We need chance. Oh. 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 
Bitch, 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 bitch. Look at the right. rivalry here. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This, team's, this team's overpowered. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Woo. Let's go. Yo, what's your next pick? Yes, let's get some size. Let's get some size. Well, I think, uh... You want Russell? Yeah, I think simply. 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 Yeah, let's go. What up, yo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's here? E money. Hey. Come here, bro. Lock in a win. Hey. Right here. Who's it gonna be? Three, two, one. Cinna. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Russell. Oh. I'm just I'm just happy to be here. Yeah. Yeah. I love that guy! Not bad. Hey, it's because he's jet lagged, so okay? No, no, no. Will, Will, we gotta be red, dog. Rock, paper, scissor. Will, he's gotta be red. I know, but it's so. he's trying to take red from us. What? Hey. Absolutely. Rock, paper, scissor for team color. Ready? Let's go. Ready? Fuck yep. Let's go. Winner gets rock, rock paper, scissors, scissors boom. boom. Rock, paper, scissors, boom. Rock, Rock, paper, scissors, boom. No! Hey, hey, hey. We're blue team. We're blue team. We're blue team. I'm gonna bite your ear off. No, you're red team. You're red team. Oh, blue team. Thank you. Okay. That was very interesting. Now we're gonna have this team, the teams, go put on their jerseys. And while they're putting on their jerseys, we're just gonna be getting ready for everything else so yeah uh i am gonna throw it back to you with an s fan thank you melena thank you very much as you guys could tell the teams were put together and uh s fan how do you feel about those teams how do you feel um you know about the balancing and uh, the rosters that uh, Amaroon and Rob there put together for their teams. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I I'm a little bit concerned. You know, I, I think uh, I think E Rob did not do his best job of uh, picking the uh, the best team that he could. Not necessarily from an overall talent perspective, but I think there's mm -hmm. a number of different factors here. Uh, whenever you're building a roster, there's there's the individual talent, right? But also on yes. top of that, you've got synergy. You've got the uh, uh, how different players fit within the system. And I just don't really know if Erob picked the right guys to fit his system as a team captain. Mm. So, and what would uh, you say their system would be? What type of bad? What type of rule? Oh, yeah, <clears throat> just bad. Yeah, I think I got think it. Yeah. yeah, if I was a betting man right now um, on a crypto betting website, I would definitely put my money into Team Emeru. By the way, I don't I don't think that's a thing. That'd be crazy if it was and it just flooded the opposite ways. <laughs> like I just tipped the scales. That would be fucking hilarious. Yeah, but here we go. Desk. Here we have the full roster buildup of the uh, each team. Red team, Erob's team is going to go Erob, Wake, Emily, Russell, Soda, Cinna, Tectone, and Will Neff. Sorry, that is actually blue team. Um, I designed this graphic myself. Apologies for that. That's fan, you wanna take it over with red team? Yes, and red team, not blue team, is Emeru, Cypher PK, Simply, NMP LOL, Mizkif, Jimmy here, BJP, and Seer. So Ooh. we have, uh, we, we're gonna God, have a heck of a damn. match today. We have a heck of a match today. It's gonna be good. Dude, so. I don't know, bro. If I, if I, <laughs> I feel like I'd want my money back if I if I paid to see that, that shit in person. You know what I mean? That, that's rough. Hey, I mean, we'll see how it goes. That's we'll see rough. how it goes. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest. <laughs> you know, we went in and, and sometimes there's there's uh, there's times when uh, you know some the the tips the, the scales look like they're gonna tip one way or the other. They look like it's gonna be uneven. That happened last week. I mean, we thought last week the teams were unbalanced a little bit in soccer, but we just went ahead and we went with it and it turned out to be a really, really good and even match. So, um, you know, it could be the same thing today. It could be wrong. Do you feel like there is going to be, who do you feel like on each of those teams is going to be the diamond in the rough? Mm. Can we, uh, the can person we, uh, that comes up and, and makes it happen for that team. Yeah, let's, uh, let's who see Who is going to be the underdog? So we can take a look at it. I think that, uh, <clears throat> I mean, I don't consider him an underdog, uh, personally. I don't consider him an underdog, because I know. Mm -hmm. But I think a lot of people might not know. 
uh, BJP is is a dog when it comes to basketball. I mean, he he understands uh, positioning. He's, he's got the skills. He can shoot. Uh, so fan. I think. Yeah, go ahead. Would you say he's got that dog in him? Oh, he he is the dog. <laughs> he is the dog. And, yes, he and, is. I think he's going to be the guy. I think he's going to be the X factor for the red team today. Uh, I think for the blue team, uh, I really think that uh, I think that Russell's going to show up. I think Russell's really going to break through today. Yeah, you, you know, I, I think the, the one thing when you look at the synergy of red team, right? Oh, wait, mm -hmm. sorry. Now it's correct. I mean, blue team. Uh, <laughs> yeah, these are the correct uh, yeah, colors. And yeah, these are. We do got the correct colors. Apologies for that. Um, <clears throat> look at Will. Will's gonna be yelling at everybody. Look, look, look. here's it go, it's gonna go two ways for blue team. Sorry, I'm stumbling over my fucking words. Blue team is either <laughs> gonna full on sweep this, and Will is gonna snowball. Russell's gonna snowball. Soda. Everyone's gonna play their part, or they're gonna crumble. Will's gonna tilt. He's gonna yell at Soda. Soda's gonna yell at Russell. Russell's gonna yell at Emily. Emily's gonna yell at Erop. Erop's gonna yell at Tectone, and their entire team is just gonna dissolve. Yeah, you know, and that's that's the thing. I mean, it's a real uh, it's a real problem in the locker room potentially uh, that we're gonna see, and and hopefully uh, Wake and Erop can it's like really LeBron and Westbrook. Through. Mm hmm. Absolutely. I mean, hopefully we can uh, we can see Wake and Erop come in and, and try and keep that team together, but uh, but we'll see what happens. So we will. Uh, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Do we, uh, so I think, I think, uh, Oro is having a, a nightmare trying to do these predictions, by the way. So the last graphic that you oh. saw was the accurate graphic, by the way, for, for the Okay. Teams. Chat, the predictions have started. Vote for which team you think is going to take over OTK game day basketball competition powered by Starforge system. So powered far it is systems. a, oh my goodness. He's fa S fan. Are you seeing these results? Uh, I'm, I'm actually literally trying to load them up right now, but my, are you uh, seeing what's happening? I have, Bro, I have you've been streaming for open. how long? I have too many tabs. Open a new web browser. Well, that's the problem. I can't fuck. I can't fucking do it. Okay. The, uh, sorry. It's, it's boomer month. It's boomer month. Okay. We have team intros coming up right here. Milena is going to be joining us here on the court court side with Milena here in just a moment. Hello and welcome back to the court. I hope you're ready for player intros today. We're gonna to be doing a nice run out. And you get to actually see the teams assembled for once. And I have slight bias and I think Nick's team's gonna win because they are stacked. Blue team was like, hey, extra Emily. The other team was like, hey, okay, Cypher PK, haha. -ha. So, you know, you know, love them, but you know, one is five foot taller than the other, so. Uh, I hope this will be a fun, fair game, and that uh, no one hurts each other. And I think we're ready. I think we're ready whenever they are. Right? I think we are ready. So let's see it. Let's see the first team, guys. And we have the first one from Red Team. We have Emma Rue. I think she's gonna underestimate us today, guys. Look at her, she is ready to go. And number two, we have Mr. Sear, the Corp Award. Here he is. A nice, fast pace to his team. Doesn't want to risk getting hurt before the game. And then number three, we have, number three, we have Ryan, BJP, secret weapon, who has been coaching basketball for many, many years. He has been coaching basketball for many years. And, uh, Ready to go. We have the one and only. Does he need any introduction? I don't know. It's Grandpa. Is it's Nick. I think it's Nick, guys. And Grandpa. Yeah. He's ready. So next, we have the one that everyone's actually scared of today, which is Cypher PK. Last year, he bounced his head off the floor 80 miles per hour. He's back today. Hopefully, not with Grandpa. We'll see next. We have. Redact, I'm kidding. Hi, it's Miskin, guys. Look, it's everyone's favorite. He's back again to play. He's back again to play on the red team. And they're lining up so nicely for us. The one and only, Simply. Look at him go. He's ready. He might even have a surprise for you guys tonight. Yeah, that was not the surprise I was talking about. 
Yeah. 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 We are waiting for the last person. Who's probably going to be the slowest one? Yeah, there they go. A new player. It is Jimmy, guys. And he was unfortunately last person. I think he's going to surprise everyone. I think he's going to surprise everyone. And he's going to surprise everyone. And next up, we have Lime. Who the fuck is that? It's Lime. Lime. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to your spot. Okay, here we go. Look who's next. Next we have E Rob, guys. We have E Rob. Blue team. Russell, Russell, go to your fucking team side. You're lining up with Team Blue. You guys are just like kindergartners, man. I swear to fucking God. <laughs> yeah, stand still. Is it that one thing of mine? Look who's right. Yeah, look. Next we have. You should be nicer. You should be nicer to us. Line up. Very impressive, actually. Oh, and next we have a new player. It's Cena. Woo! Oh, she's just. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> You're so nervous right now. I just like. The team is just ignoring her because you know uh, women's history. Oh, there we go. Actually, she's so excited to be here. Is she ever not excited to be here? She would be excited to be in the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ooh, it's him. What? The loudest one oh, wait, we're to be out of all. Oh, oh, oh. It's Techie, guys. Hopefully he's not dick tone today. <laughs> and then we have behind him. <laughs> <laughs> it is a white. What's the surprise weapon today? Everyone's in the second, but wait for the surprise weapon. <laughs> 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 This is a solid line, and what the fuck is going on over here? Who knows? Here! Yo, guys! Line! Thank you. Can we look scary? Can you guys look scary? I have a gun. <laughs> okay. I think we're gonna throw it right back to you, Myth and S Fan. <laughs> All right, guys, they're uh, they're going to be going through warm ups here in just a moment. We're going to get to see how these guys are uh, going to get nice and warmed up for the uh, for the big game mm -hmm. today. Yeah, now, they're going to get nice and warm as fan. You know how Red else team, can get nice and warm? <clears throat> how else can I get nice and warm? There is the OTK spring sale. The spring merch sale is going on right now up to 40 percent oh. off on everything. So if you guys want to check that out, otknetwork.com, up to 40% off. If you guys want to find a way to stay warm, just like Ooh. our guys are during warm-ups, it is right Those there. socks, that hoodie, to keep me real toasty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So let's, oh, look at that. BJP running them through warm-ups, running red through warm-ups. They're getting some high kicks in, getting the mm -hmm. hamstrings nice and stretched, getting the hip flexors activated, <clears throat> doing some high nice. knees. Look at that. High knees, yep. You got to activate your hips. A big thing about any, um, you know, sport is hip activation and making sure oh. you're nice and limber through your hips. Absolutely. Absolutely. We call it, uh, we, we call it the posterior chain. That's where all the power comes from. So uh, it's, it's important for every sport. As you can see, the blue team is going with a different strategy today. Uh, they're saying, we don't need to warm up. We don't got to work on uh, the physicality. Ooh. We just got to work on our skills. So they're just practicing shooting the ball. Red team, however, staying nice and healthy. Getting some lunges in. Oh, blue team starting to uh, get some I ideas. I think they're starting the to get team. a little, little stretch. Yep. Oh, there we go. Will Neff leading the charge on stretches there. Some high kicks for the go. blue team. You know, you don't want to blow out, um, you know, a spine, a leg, an mm. arm, a any back. of the, the major bones, a back. Mm -hmm. um, and 
And, uh, and I, you know, with, with what these guys do day in and day out, I think it's, uh, you know, the odds of it happening aren't, you know, they're kind of there. So mm -hmm. you want to be careful. And that's just why you got to get the stretching in. A lot of times you can, uh, you can take a uh, look at a team in warm-ups and you can kind of pick out who the best athletes are going to be, you know. Oh. And let's see, right here with Jimmy, he's going to go up for the layup. Mm -hmm. and, and, yep. oh. I, like, I like that, though. <laughs> the left-handed layup well, on the practicing. right side of the rim. Yeah, he was practicing the left hand. <laughs> yes. So he was really, uh, I mean, that's the thing. He's, he, but that's the, the thing as fans, being players. able to conf being able to bring different mm. tools to the table exactly. when your opponent's expecting something else. It's such a vital tool when playing well, basketball. Exactly. And the best athletes don't train in the ideal situation. They say, hey, mm -hmm. there might be a time when I've got to take a shot coming in from the right with my left hand, you know, and that's that's really what they're doing here. So exactly. uh, really good, really good. Ooh. That's exactly what I like to see. Mm -hmm. Just red team getting getting those reps in, running it all out. There's that left hand layup one more time. You love to see it. Here's mm -hmm. here's BJP. You know, easy buckets yeah, easy. from him. Simply walking up to the basket as well, slow and steady, making it happen. But now blue team seemingly always copying what the red team is doing. Yeah, um, interesting. Also practicing the right hand layups. Here we have extra mm -hmm. Emily. Let's see what she's got cooking for us, folks. Oh, okay, nice right bounce off the, the backboard. Side. Nice Twice. bounce off the backboard. <laughs> nice bucket. Hope yeah, to see I mean, that in the game today. I mean, she was practicing her rebounds there, and that's something that I think not enough players do, uh, mm. is going through practicing their rebounds, making sure that they can play defensively. Yes. As you can see, Sina is working on her spin move. Um, so, Because as we know, extra Emily will be a uh, center. Is that the role? Yeah, I, well, I, I think Fuck. she's more of a flex position. Uh, yes. I think extra Emily is one of those that she could play center, she could play uh, point guard, uh, mm. a, a forward, you know, it's it's just the talent that's really there and uh, the physicality that we can see uh, on display. Correct, correct. Mm -hmm. So let's see, oh. uh, let's see Seer. Yep, see Seer's going to go ahead and show off some skills for us. There we go. He doesn't oh, even see, look. He was, he, I think he was trying to go for the alley-oop, but uh, uh, I think simply didn't we are ready through. for the national anthem. And today we have simply... Simply, we'll do us the honor of singing the national anthem today. Can we have everyone please line up behind Simply? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, are they, are yeah. they gonna are they gonna hear me or no? No, you're gonna be able to hear it. music. Right, because I'm going yeah. to be loud and boost my voice. Do you have the time to listen to me whine? <clears throat> All right. Don't, don't Shall. say rhyme. Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Oh, I'm dusty as hell. Sorry. Yeah, this is such an honor. Oh, God. Wait, wait, Just getting my breath. Yeah, you're doing yeah great. wait, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Wake. Just gonna move up a bit so we can get the camera framing just right. <laughs> oh, is it, am I singing to a song? Can you see? By the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, all oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for oh, the hand of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you. Wow, that was beautiful. That was almost better than extra Emily's performances last week. I think you guys are equal now. That was great. Yeah, I mean. You know. I, I, I think you're 
Yeah, I won't tell her. I, oh, okay. I missed a couple of minutes. We did not know you sang Oprah. That was a, you were a man of many talents. I, I was a choir boy, you know, so shit, it is what it is. But okay. now I'm turned to basketball boy, about to ball up on some bitches and just clap some cheeks, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I think we are ready when you guys are, if you okay. want to go tell your team. And we'll talk to you in a bit, and then uh, we are uh, ready to talk to the ref. Uh, ref? Ref P. Can we get a few words with you? Uh, yeah, so not only does he ref football, he also refs uh, basketball. How are you feeling? Feeling great today. You excited to be back? Always, always. So, um, we don't usually meet people who's like outside of gaming and stuff. Do you just think we're just a whole group of weird people? I wouldn't say that because I myself like game here and there. I honestly say like this is being so interesting so far. <laughs> I'm happy, very very happy to be here. Uh, did anyone surprise you last week? That's gonna you think is gonna do good today? I would say uh, Cipher. 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 Now, do you remember the injury last week? I remember Miz uh, went rogue for a second. Yeah. But. Uh, but hey, I, I still I still think it was a clean tackle. It was just unlucky from the other guy. Do you know what happened? Uh, missed slide tackle to the ball. Other player came in and it was like ball his foot. I think you need to, I think you need to watch Miss today because that guy broke his elbow in three spots and had surgery. Wow. Yep. So yeah. <laughs> just be extra careful. I'll keep a I'll keep a close eye. I'll okay. Close okay. Eye. Well, uh, good luck. I think Sweet. we are ready when you are. And awesome. Then we're gonna just uh, throw it back to our casters, our remote casters, Myth and Espen. Thank you very much, Malena. Thank you very much, Milena. Um, we appreciate that. Uh, as you can tell, our, our ref from last week is back again, and uh, we're ready to get this game started. The ref from last week, incredible ref. He, he does a great job. So uh, we are very excited to see that. Um, we are also very excited to see Starforge Systems is uh, yes, we are our show today. Yeah, StarforgeSystems.com if you guys want to check it out. Starforge Systems is... Uh, it has next gen systems available now. You want a 4090, you want a big boy, you want to play everything a max graphics RTX enabled. You can do that with a Star Wars Systems PC, and uh, you can even watch Twitch with it. That's how crazy it is. Whoa. Mm hmm. It's amazing. I said, what do you do with your Star Wars PC? Uh, I, uh, I, I play a lot of Solitaire, actually. Mm. Yeah. Solitaire streamer now, huh? Mm hmm. Yeah, I play a lot of Solitaire. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fan. I, I just got a, a, oh, we're about to head right back into the game. Oh, it is all started. starting now. Hugs coming out from our opponents, and we're going to jump for the ball. This is where it all begins, that's fan. This is where winners become winners. This is where losers become losers. Let's get this game going. I'm very excited. I'm very excited to see this. So, Cinna and Emma, <clears throat> Emmy on the tip off. Mm hmm. All right, they're lining up, getting it right. I, 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 are they going to fight? Okay, no. Here we go. And they're up for the ball. Oh. And it's in blue team's possession off the rip. We have Will <laughs> Neff. <laughs> okay, well, E-Rob going for the shot immediately and whiffing completely. <laughs> and it's immediately out of bounds for the blue team. So red team is going to pick up possession of the ball. Blue team taking their time to get back to the other side of the court while uh, BGAP pulls it up. Cypher leading out. He crosses through, and it's on big Damn. layup. What a play by BJP, directing traffic, setting that up, setting Cypher up for the assist. Back to himself. Wake's bringing it back down the court now. <clears throat> he's yep. looking for a, he, he's looking for a play. He's looking for a play right here. Nick coming Ooh, in, playing some strong defense. Erob passing it back to Wake. A lot of ball movement from the blue team. Actually, quite a bit. Making quite it move. Bit. That's something I wasn't really expecting as Wolnaf takes a big jumper, but he doesn't able to find anything with it. Nick running down the court with the ball. Going to toss it up. Does it go in? It doesn't, but it's back in Red Team's possession. We got an offensive rebound there. BJP taking it in. And Wake with a big rebound. Uh -huh. Oh, unfortunately, but it comes to nothing. BJP gets the steal, passes it to Cypher. <clears throat> Yes, but now, top of the court, Miskiff, ball in hand, doesn't want to travel, 
Tosses it away. Emru pass to Cypher. Cypher's in the center of the court. He needs his teammates to move around, make something happen. B picks it back up. Back to Cypher. Will Cypher try picking it up, or will somebody move around the court to help him? Who knows? These streamers do not want to move, but it's Nick Pollum that makes it happen and sees the opportunity. What a shot by NMP. What a play. That's the big thing you're seeing from these guys right now, uh, particularly with Nick and BJP, is the awareness on the court. Oh, but Having wait a second, Nick, a steal. Oh. oh, and that's a foul. Yep, a big foul cuts off the drive. You know, you're going to have to do that to Nick a lot this game. This man is a menace on the court. He's a menace in sports. And now he's going to get a, a free little layup here. See if he can put it inside the bucket. Let's see it happen, S fan. Ice in his veins. Shit in his ass. Well, well, and well. zero in the buckets. One more. Here we go, Nick. And it's well, money. There's one. That's what they need. Nick going to take a seat out, going to call in uh, Seer from the bench. Little trade. And we'll see um, what, I guess, Nick needs a little break after playing for 35 seconds. But, you know, he's done a lot for his team in that time. He has, he has. And I think that's key. Oh, good block by Miz. Wilnef taking it up, but he's, he's now. Ooh, him and, him and, ooh. Okay, something <clears throat> okay. seems to be happening on the court, but we're gonna we're gonna skip that because BJP running up the court. Will oh, finds the security of the ball. Yep, doesn't doesn't end up letting that ball go out. S fan, that's big there. That's big hustle. That's big drive coming out of William Nefferson. I think we're gonna see that all game from him. Mm -hmm. He really has a passion for what he's doing. A fire, some may say. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but here we go, Tectone now. In a bit. Oh, the fake pop. And the bucket no, a still attempt. not able to go in. Will looking around for the ref, trying to get a call already. William has <laughs> engaged his competitive spirit already here, looking like LeBron um, trying to get a foul called against him, but he's not getting nothing. But now it's Will on Cypher PK and Sear struggling to find possession of that ball. It's going to go out and it's going to be to the blue team. Yeah, and I, I just want to go back and touch on something that we talked about briefly where, uh, you know, Nick went out after about 30 seconds. Uh, I, I think that's going to be key for this game is uh, managing the roster, getting guys mm -hmm. in and off the court um, in, in order to manage their stamina, manage their energy levels and making sure nobody that. gets too gassed. Yeah, I think I think that's that's important. If you if you know that somebody like Nick Pollum is going to come on the court and shoot buckets, you don't want to juice them out already. Oh, that's definitely a travel, but <laughs> but <laughs> you know, we'll give it to him. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it's all right. We're, we're getting back into the BJP game. BJP trying to draw the foul. <laughs> BJP trying to draw the foul like it's the World Cup. Uh, and Sear passing it to Cipher, taking it up, and it's not in. I'm pretty sure. Oh, but the rebound by simply making the bucket happen for red team. But wait, what, what's what's happened here on the court? Um, S fan, do we got a? Oh no. Oh no, S fan. Well, think, Miz is on the court, so we are we have some idea of what could have happened. I, I think I think Will Neff is is experiencing a little a little ooey. <clears throat> uh oh. All right, I think it's all, I think it's all, oh, well. Looks like everyone's taking a little rest time, taking a little moment to breathe. I think they I, collectively I think that's, all decided to act like they are injured in order to get a breather. Yeah, I think that's a that's a bold strategy coming yeah, actually, out of everyone I here. I just, I, yeah, oh. I, I see this, yeah, there's something on the court that we're kicking off and it looks like a turd, uh, which I, may have actually yes. been ejected from Nick's Anus. Yep, I'm, I'm getting confirmation from production S fan. People were afraid that Nick Pollum shit on the floor. So that was uh, why everyone was kind of standing there for a second. But it wasn't, or they tended to clean it off or something, and now we're right back into the game. Mm -hmm. Oh, and a oh, big bucket! Moves. First point to the game. Was that three? Or was that two? Was that in or not? I guess it was a it was a two pointer, it but two it's E Rob putting the first points on the board for blue team. There right. you go. Here we yes, go. and that is confirmed Oof. that it was two from production. Miskiff finding a way to get that ball out of his hand. 
Cypher PK towering over E-Rob, unfortunately. And now we have Seer with a big pass to simply, simply to the bucket. Cypher underneath, bounces wow. it off the backboard. What a play by Cypher going up, taking advantage of his height. And that's the big thing we're seeing right now. If you look at red team, they're uh, playing high. Uh, is that they're a timeout? Oh, oh, it's just, uh, they're, they're just starting the possession off from the okay. uh, blue side oh. of the court. But everybody, William Neverson is back in, Will, how do you call him? Will Neff is back for the blue team. And I think him and E-Rob, if they could find their motion, if they could get things going for themselves, they'll find a lot of success here. But who is that down the court? It's oh, Sear. Sear. And, but he does nothing with his advantageous position. Passes it to Nick <laughs> Pollum. Pollum looking for it. That's some good defense by Wake. Emily grabs the ball and hugs it like it is a teddy bear. Um, and then passes it to E-Rob. And, um, I, uh, well, he blew the whistle. It's, oh, he blew the whistle when they started. Uh, never mind. All right, E-Rob has possession of the blue ball, uh, E-Rob. But, um, Will Neff making... Will Neff trying to take matters into his own hands. He's been, he really has been doing that. Yeah, to be, to, I mean, I thought, I thought it was a, that was a good decision right there. Oh, off the bottom of the backboard, Will That's taking fan. it down. Chance, oh, no. Chance got a big opportunity here. Big opportunity. Okay. Big opportunity uh, to miss the bucket, S fan, and he absolutely crushes it if that was the matter at hand. But now it's Miskiff running up the court, a pass to his teammate on the red side. Back to Miskiff with the L on his back to Nick Pollum. Nick Pollum with the shot. And it's a big miss. It was a good attempt. It was a good attempt. Good attempt from that uh, from that far out. I'd have to agree with you there, S fan. But um, now take us through take us through this blue side aggression that we're seeing here, S fan. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think that uh, you can see Will's trying to direct traffic a little bit for the blue team here. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I think what the big thing that they're trying to take advantage of is uh, making a play off of uh, off of turnovers. Yeah. And I think it's a, I think that's a good strategy, uh, to mm -hmm. be honest with you. Trying to uh, trying to trying to score off the break. So. I gotta agree with you there. It, it's all gonna come down to them finding their rhythm. Uh, for for me, I feel like this blue team is is really just. Everyone's trying to play their own game instead of play the game as a team. And red team, on the opposite hand, is working a bit better together. They're finding the glue. Yeah. But let's see if E-Rob could be the glue for this team. Gonna pass it up to Will Neff. And Will Neff with a layup, but it's a miss. And E-Rob, could he put it back up? It's gonna be passed off to Will. Will again, oh, Will and Neff makes it happen. With two, <clears throat> making the score nine to four. No, I think absolutely. Uh, Trying to trying to play together as a team is a huge advantage for the red team. Uh, Seer in particular, who actually has passed the ball more times than he's touched the ball, which is uh, incredibly impressive. There's a nice easy layup from Wake, bringing yeah, it back what, nine to six. A hundred S fan. What what just happened in, in the in the span of less than a minute? Uh, Blue team took this from a from a nine two game to a to a three point uh, differential here. I, I really think that blue team is taking advantage of the red team's lack of conditioning here. You know, the red team is diesel and the blue team is, is an electric. You know, they're not, they're not going to get there as fast as, as uh, you know, maybe a, a GTR. But uh, they'll, they'll get there eventually and they'll spend a lot less money on gas doing it. Wait, which team's diesel and which team's gas? I mean, electric? I don't. I, usually I talk without knowing what I said, so don't ask me what I just said. That is a okay S fan because Cypher PK is making shit happen on the court. All right. That's going to be 11 to 6 now. Nick Paul, I'm trying to put some pressure on to Will Neff, but it's going to be Cypher PK finding his way through this court. The man looks like the fucking green giant on this court compared to these other people on it. Yeah, there it, it, is. it is actually foul. Absolutely, it is. And we got ourselves a little bit of a game here with uh, the point scoring. Point scoring is picking up quite a bit now. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Oh my God. Russell up and up and down. <laughs> All right, I think the, re the ref called the up and down. He got it that time, thankfully. It's going to be called on to E-Rob. And 
Red team with the ball. I love Nick Pollum's position when he's dribbling that ball with his right hand. His left hand just kind of stays up a little bit. Yeah, just ready to, the left hand's playing defense for him. Exactly. But here we have Soda popping. The man himself tossing the ball to E-Rob and E-Rob making nice. a big a bucket play. happen. See, and that's exactly what we talked about earlier is uh, them making plays off of turnovers is probably going to be their uh, best play right there. The biggest advantage that they have is going to be uh, that conditioning. Ooh, Will Neff <laughs> throwing the ball as high as it can go while still hitting the rim. I think that was a strategy play by Will Neff. It's uh, it's basically a uh, it's a it's a poor man's timeout right there. It's so a quick timeouts. 15, 20 seconds uh, to get yes. a breather before you but then keep playing. The, yeah, but then the opponent gets possession of the ball and then scores on you, and then it gives you even more time to think about your next play. Well, but it also gives them an opportunity right? to get a turnover. Which is mm -hmm. where they've scored all their points off of is off the turnovers. So True. maybe, maybe that's the play by Will Neff. Absolutely. Oh, let's see what Russell can make happen here for Blue Team. You know, all these passes I've, I've been looking at the Blue Team's passes. They all throw the ball at each other's knees, and I think that's quite an interesting passing form. Oh, he saves. Wait, that's out. So I, actually, I uh, I think that they're doing that uh, as part of their strategy. The red team has a lot of height to them. You know, between mm -hmm. simply between Cipher, so the blue team is saying, "Well, if they're so high, well, why don't we get low?" You know, yeah. I think they're get trying low, to keep get the low, ball get low mm -hmm. to the window, mm -hmm. to the wall, everywhere. Yes. All right. Simply passing it to Casper on the court. It's gonna end up leading to the ball being out of bounds. But now we have Will Neff once again, the most competitive person in the streaming stratosphere that we all know. Passes the ball, his teammate isn't really paying attention, but it is going to end up being sunken in anyways by Tectone. There you go, Tectone getting some points in. All right, Cypher PK saying somebody get on Tectone. Somebody do something with this guy. As Mizkiff puts up a bucket. And Will Neff with possession of the ball, top of the court once again for the blue team. Will he make a bucket? It's time, and it's in. So you can start to see that the uh, the fatigue is starting to set in for, uh, I would say for both teams, but particularly with the red team, the fatigue is starting to set in a little bit. They're taking it slow. S-Fan, let's do a little Star Forge listen-in on uh, these guys playing on the court for these next few possessions. Are you into that for the last 40 seconds of this half? Or this yeah, I, I would love that. Let's go ahead and call on uh, Star Forge systems uh, and get some of the best audio in the universe into the court. Hell of a first quarter. Yeah. That was a hell of a first quarter that we had uh, between the blue team and the red team here on OTK <laughs> Game Day Basketball, the uh, the 2023, uh, the spring 2023 season of OTK Game Day Basketball. Uh, these guys are looking really good. The game is actually very close, very competitive. Yeah, I think I think this definitely beats the expectations that we uh that we had for this match. You know, it, it's all tied up here going into the second quarter and, and blue team is really putting a performance, uh, a performance up that I really wasn't expecting. I was expecting red team to carry away with it, especially when they were like nine points up. Yeah, I mean, I really think blue team picked it up uh, in, in the second half of that first quarter. Uh, they, they really came through and, and like I said, I mean, I, I was worried about the synergy. That's really what it was. I was worried about the synergy 
uh, when when the teams were selected, and I and I thought maybe the, these guys hadn't worked together before, these guys hadn't played together before. Uh, do these guys oh have God. what it takes? Are they back That's, on the court already? Oh, they might be. They might be getting ready. Oh shit! And okay. uh, either way, I think that they uh, they really started to bring it together, and uh, they really started to learn to work as a team, and that was really impressive to see. Yes. Now all those, all the people that may have been uh, gambling uh, for Team Blue here, probably shaking as we're entering the second quarter and we're seeing a potential turnaround of the scoreboard. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, speaking of scoreboard production, can we get a uh, confirmation on the uh, on the score here? Alrighty, we do have okay, confirmation we'll that we have people on the field, actually in the arena, that are watching the game live, that are calling the 12-12 is the accurate scorecard. Okay, so very good. We're gonna we're gonna start this side off now with extra Emily dribbling the ball down the court with a heroic form. Seer dancing around her. L Rob trying to find a way into this bucket. Oh, just take it up. Just make it happen. He had, he had Will Shoot for the just bucket. a second there. <clears throat> the big thing is guys, guys got to work to get open. And uh, you can see that, I mean, maybe they didn't get enough, uh, they, didn't, they didn't get enough fuel in the, uh, during that break there. But, oh, God, that was a great damn. attempt by Wake. That was a great attempt by Wake going in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go, Will, picking it up. <laughs> so blue team has their first lead of the game. Two points up, but it's now back in the hands of the red team. Ooh, oh, what a, a block by Wake. But it's caught in Sear's hand, and it's back to the top of the court for BJP. Trying to make something happen. Pass to Sear. Cypher PK looking, struggling to get the ball, but it's a oh. fast break from E-Rob, taking it up and missing it. Oh, unfortunate. Oh, Tectones. All red balls possession. I think one of them got um, something happened, and now it's in the, ba the hands of the they red team. Bad. They did a bad. Truth. They did a so, bad. They did a bad. Nick's yeah. working it down. <clears throat> Nick's working it down uh, into the paint, and then out of the paint, around the paint, between the paint. Passing it to Jimmy here. Who, um, I thought that was going in. I thought that was a swish. I actually <laughs> I thought, thought it was, was a swish. I thought it was in two. I, like, uh, I, thought, I, thought, that, I thought that went whoosh, It was literally like perfect No accuracy. noise, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, like a silent one. Shh. <laughs> okay. Wake's bringing it in. Oh. Behind the back. Well, look who oh, it is. Oh, my goodness. NMP. <laughs> no. Seer. No. Okay, NMP. up. One more time. Here we go for the three. No. Oh. This is. Uh, oh, and oh boy. Extra Emily Wait. intercepts the ball <laughs> and brings it back <laughs> to Wake. Wake working it down, <laughs> passing it back to E Rob. <laughs> extra Emily is the flex player we never knew that blue team needed. Holy shit. You know, just look like at, we look at her. Look at her. Pre -game, extra Emily. Look at her. You know, playing, playing underneath the basket. <laughs> Dude, really playing to her strengths. Stepping the up against Cypher PK, saying no, no, no. Yeah, it's uh, really, uh, it's really. I, I would say that's uh, that's a. Oh, Ooh. what a shot by Will Neff. That was beautiful. There we go. That's gonna tie it up for Red Team. Red Team needs to find that fire. I feel like they used it all at the very start of the match, and they've been, you know, struggling to find their fire again. But. Chance, saving the ball to E-Rob. E-Rob working it up the court. A pass. To Sinna, who passes it off the backboard to Will Neff. That was not a shot. It was a pass to Will Neff. Who then and it's in. Again, the blue team is picking it up. They're starting to run away with it. 14 to 18. They're starting to separate. Can blue team pull this off? Against see all odds. Nobody believed in them. Can they really do this? Seer thought about playing soccer for a minute there. Thought about kicking the ball. But it's going to be an out for red team. It's going back into blue team's possession. Will Neff leading up the court, spiking the ball right to the hands of BJP to... Oh, why did I forget his name? 
<laughs> Fuck. Nick Paul. To Nick Paul, I'm Jesus Christ. My brain. Ooh. My brain died. MP is just. This is a strategy we've seen from Nick for uh, several game days across several years is uh, just trying to just get ready to get a big pass and, and try and score. Uh, he did this in OTK Game Day Soccer, uh, the the first ever game day event that we did, the first soccer event that we did, mm -hmm. and uh, it worked out well for him. It did, and uh, we're seeing a little bit of that today. Ooh, but well, Erob's right there to work with Will Neff, but oh, Miskiff, saucing two guys off at once. Big plays coming from Miskiff, and, and that's something we've seen from Miskiff a lot, uh, actually, uh, both uh, on and off the court. Huh? And another great shot from Will. And it's right back into the hands of BJP, walking it down the court. Look at look how he's eyeing Nick from across the court, waiting. Cypher PK with a big drive and a fake, and somehow makes it in against three big brolic men on the blue team. That's Cypher PK basketball. driving to make it an in. That is physical basketball right there. Good hustle. Oh, and Nick with a great defensive play. Yes. Working it down the court. <laughs> I like how Nick ran off as if that bucket was going in, undoubtedly. But uh <laughs> unfortunately it did not. <laughs> that motherfucker went, yeah, that's all bucket cash. <laughs> Hell nah. Hey, well sometimes it's not about how you play, it's about how you look. And and true. Uh, Nick uh usually is playing quite well, but also uh, sometimes looks pretty good doing it too. All right, here we go. Simply, let's see what you got. Okay, BJP getting the ball back. Big pass to Cypher, although I'm pretty sure that was towards Nick. <laughs> but uh, hey, it's all good as long as it's in the possession of a red team member. But now it ain't no mo. Unlucky. 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 Oh, E Rob, hat in sport mode. As usual, you could see the determination mm -hmm. in this man's eyes. You could mm -hmm. see him wanting to raise that trophy. The and fire it, in his heart. The fire in his heart mm -hmm. has fanned. And now Wake with a pass to Senna. Senna taking it up. But Will Neff under the bucket with Russell. Russell not able to confirm that for his team. But that's going to go to the red not. team. I think that is going to the red team, yes. <clears throat> Mizkiff throwing it into BJP. Ryan is here trying to trying to direct traffic. You can see him. You can see his brain working. He's trying to make a play here. Decides to take it himself. <clears throat> Unfortunately, it does not work out for him. Wake gets the rebound. Let's go, Wake. That was. What do we see here? Was that a travel? Oh, that that that, mo that motherfucker lifted the ball was up and went. Class? Ooh, ooh. He traveled his ass to Mars and back with that ball. God <laughs> damn. All right. No defense on BJP ever, really. And uh, I don't know what's up with that, but I want to I mean, see Will get crazy here. And he gets oh, crazy. There it is, Will Neff. Okay. Pulling up the three. Will Neff, he is Will. him. I, I you, think he, Will came in, you know, with a little bit of a, a rough start at the beginning of the game, but he's really uh, lit it up in the second quarter here. Yeah, I feel like he's, he's igniting a fire under his teammates' asses. And, I, and you need somebody on your team that's going to get everybody involved, that's going to make everybody feel like they're ready to play the game. And Will Neff is that guy. But Erob now, the true star player of the blue team, even if people don't want to admit it, passing it to him, Will passing it to Cinna. Unfortunately, nothing could be had by that. Once again, BJP wide open. I don't know if it's because he's old or if it's because of that. But he's left wide open. Well, the thing is, BJP is a, he's a crafty player. You know, he's uh, he's scrappy. He's able to uh, really find holes in the defense, and he always finds a way to just get in there. You know, and uh, it's it's really really impressive. Uh, I call it a court awareness, and uh, it's just a big part of what BJP brings to the table. Mm -hmm. All right, Cipher PK with a three throw here. He likes to dribble the ball twice and then bring it back up to his hands from the tippy toes. And he makes it in. Well, there you go. These are points that Red Team needs right now. Let's see if he can make it happen again. He dribbled it three times this time. It's not going in. Stick to your rhythm. Stick to your practice. 
But they find recovery of the ball, and Cypher is able to, unfortunately, not do anything. Unfortunately, there. he does not finish. <clears throat> but Will Neff does finish, and he's feeling like an eagle after he's that one. He's feeling good. He's feeling oh! good. Oh! What? We didn't even see it. <laughs> oh, okay. Did we just miss it? <laughs> I don't oh, even okay. know what just happened. Yeah, okay. We're, he, we're they, were just, they were just having some count. fun. Yeah, they were just having yeah. some fun, and Cypher just casually decides to dunk it um, before the ball was thrown in. All right. Ooh. I like it when Nick tries crossing over people because his body doesn't really move, and so neither does his opponent. But it's really it, it's good to see that effort and that, uh, that attempt for the play. But Erop's taking it up from the corner three. Not able to find much. Wake taking it back to Russell. Russell can't seem to catch the goddamn ball if it was, uh, if it had fucking handles on it for some goddamn reason. But here we go. And Nick takes it away. <laughs> With the steal. But Russell ain't letting it go. He's engaged turbo mode. See, Emmy passes it back to Cypher, tipped off of Wake's hands. Cypher looking for an opportunity here. He's going Ooh. in, passes it back to Nick. Does Nick take the three? He does. He tries. Unfortunately, it does not pan out for him. Oh, BJP oh, going for the ball. E-Rob holding on for dear life. All right. We're going to see what the referee calls it. It's a red? Ball red. Okay. The fuck? Hey. What? Hey, uh, there's a reason. I, hey, I ain't going to say it. Oh, it was right. jump ball. Oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I'm capping. I'm capping. I'm capping. My bad. So All right, we've got but... the ball. He's coming down again. I, I mean, one thing that I think is really impressive here is uh, Will, Will has scored a lot of points here in the second quarter. Uh, I, I'm really impressed with Wake's ability to. Uh, I, I feel like he's uh, he's done a great job of directing traffic, and uh, really opening up opportunities for the uh, for his teammates to make plays. Mm -hmm. And you can see right there, Will, Will wasn't as involved in that play, and uh, things got a little bit bogged down. But he can really draw a lot of attention. Mm. And, uh, that's a great, great play by Cypher. Making the score 19 to 25. Oh, my God. Bro, S-Fan, what, what's going on right here, bro? 25 I mean, I, to 19? I think Blue Team just figured it out. I think, I think again, Wake has done a phenomenal job of, of, of moving the ball around. Oh, look getting, at getting him. Getting the ball in the right people's hands. And really, that was a beautiful play. Unfortunately, they didn't finish. But uh, that, that was, that was uh, a beautiful play by them. Yeah, I, I think Move we're the seeing... the ball around the perimeter. Yeah. Nice. And Cypher wow. makes, makes some points happen. I think, Esfan, correct me if I'm wrong here, but it feels like we're seeing a switch in play styles from the teams. We've seen a red team at the start playing for each other, passing the ball around, making shit happen. And now the blue team is taking that, and red team is just kind of going, and, and, and you have individual people trying to make shit happen. Absolutely. Uh, that, is, that is absolutely the exact same thing that I saw. Uh, I mean, you, you saw it at the beginning with BJP, you know, coming in and, and really taking ownership of, of that team and, and really moving people around and uh, putting people in the right positions to make plays. And uh, what's really happened in the second quarter here for red team is They've stopped relying on their uh, on their strategy and started relying more on their their athleticism, just on their raw mm -hmm. athleticism. And sure, that can work and that can get you some points, but that's not going to win you the game. Yeah, it's not definitely not going to win you the game against this blue team that just knows how to play better as a team collectively. Mm -hmm. But now, red team starting to move that ball around a little bit more, and it's Mizkif tossing it up. But it's going to be Erop coming out from underneath the teammates and Chance doing a little ballerina twirl. We love to see that from him, but unfortunately, it's not going to be the move that he needs to make. Unfortunately not. There's two minutes left here in the second quarter. Oh, okay. And we've had a very exciting, uh, we've had a very exciting half so far, uh, especially with that out of bounds right there. As <laughs> <laughs> uh, as again, this. Oh. Go, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, you go. I was just, just going to mention the. Uh, uh, a, a lot of times people look at points. People look at points scored, which again, we got two more from Erob right there. 21 to 27. Jeez. 
a lot of people look at point score and how uh, you know how many points an, an individual is putting up, but there's a lot more to basketball than uh, than the amount of points that are scored. I'm sure that's the at the end of the day who scores more points than the other. But in order to get those points, it takes a lot of teamwork and strategy and uh, being able to move the ball down the court and uh, play well defensively to prevent them from also scoring points. So uh, I'm really really happy to see that so far with uh, blue team in particular. Now red team scored again though. Oh, and Cyber gets another steal. Oh, what is he going to make happen of it, though? He's going to drive it down alone, but it's Nick Pollum from the top of the three. Ah, I can't make anything happen with it, though, and it's going to go back to blue. But S-Fan. Oh. Wait, timeout. Okay, the ref says no to the timeout, and uh, somebody's going to pass it to Cypher, and Cypher's going to make the bucket happen. But hey, back to your point, S-Fan. I think... I think we should go to a Star Forge listen in because, like you said, it's about teamwork, it's about cooperation, and I want to see how they're seconds. feeling in the last 30 seconds of this court. I would absolutely love that. We're going to tune in with Star Forge. And what an end to the first half. This has been an incredible, incredible first half so far. 25 to 27. Boom. That's and welcome back. We are in the uh production studio here. I am Myth and I am with my co-host S Fan. S Fan, how you feel about that first half from OTK Game Day I'm, I'm basketball? Very surprised. I'm very surprised. I, I, I think that this has been a much closer game than uh, we expected at first. I think that was, uh, that, I mean, I, I thought red team was going to run away with it, but blue team really mm -hmm. picked it up in the second quarter. They mm -hmm. really, really picked it up in the second quarter. And uh, I mean, I, I was happy to see that. I think you made a really good point, Myth, with the um, the way that the, the strategies that both teams took kind of flipped, where you yeah. had a red team coming in, coming in playing as a team, uh, doing really well at the beginning. And then blue team started doing that and red team stopped doing that. And mm -hmm. that's really what we got to see here. So uh, it's an incredibly close game so far. And uh, we, have a, we have a little bit of a halftime coming up here. Oh, the halftime I show? Think, I think we have a little bit of a halftime show coming up here, don't we? We have Oh, uh... oh. well. Oh, okay. Well, S-Fan, Actually... before we hop into the halftime replays, let's check out the highlights from our wonderful competitors on the court. Brought to you by StarForgeSystems.com. Yep, here it is. BJP to Cypher. Cypher back to BJP with a nasty right-handed layup. Oh, yeah. The first points of the game. See, you, you, you can really see when, when Red Team is at their best, uh, it's whenever BJP is really directing traffic back there. And he's, uh, mm -hmm. he's making plays happen. And that's Nick Pollum with the finger guns <laughs> shooting on him. And this from the three throw, making it happen. All right. And we also are getting confirmation that we have had expert analysis level NASA scientists analyze the score. And the score is, sorry, can I get that one more time? It was, uh, I, I believe I just got it in too. This is uh, based off of satellite imagery that we just had uh, brought in from NASA. It is 26 to 27 is the 26 uh, is the to 27. So that there is our score is. here at the end of the first half. Correct. But now we're seeing highlights of E-Rob making buckets happen. Let's talk about E-Rob for a minute here as fan. The man has been a menace on the court. Do you or do you not agree? I mean, I, I think I think it's it's not not just him, but I think uh, I, I think we've been impressed by a lot of people today. Uh, what do you mean I, it's not just him? Well, I think I, I think it's a it's a team sport here. You know, I, I think a lot of times you have uh, what? Yes, I mean, you think basketball is not a team sport? Listen, yes, it is an it is a team sport, right? Correct. Yeah, but E Rob has been putting in mad buckets. Do you or do you not agree? I, I think he's done well, but I think Wake has done a hell of a job 
uh, working the ball down the field, finding guys open. I think Will's been passing, and and uh, honestly, he's been handling the ball real well too. I don't think he's he's uh, had the ball stolen from him either. And then uh, I think I think Will has also done a phenomenal job here in the second quarter. I think he he had a rough go at the beginning. He was he was missing <clears> a little bit, but he, he kind of caught fire a little bit uh, towards fan- the end of the second second quarter. What is about what is it about your expert analysis that's leading you to degrade Erob's performance here? Well, I, I don't want to take anything away from from Erob's game. Uh, I, I wasn't necessarily familiar with it before today's. Uh, uh, today's game, and, and I, I would like to apologize for that. But uh, I, I'm just saying, I think that really everybody brings uh, everybody else on the court will bring out the best in the other players. <laughs> hey, whatever you say, yes, fan. But um, you know, I've seen, I've seen. Uh, maybe we haven't been watching the same game after all. But it is what it is. Will Neff, yeah, Wake has been putting it on stuff up too. You've seen Tecto make a few buckets. But if we're talking about pure performers, bred people that are out here doing it, making buckets happen, you cannot ignore Erob. I mean, I, that I, is I, all I'm that, trying to say. I think I think Erob has done a phenomenal job. But you, you okay, but wait. why you is there a but? There is always a because, but with you. Because there's gonna be a but because it's a team sport. There's five guys on the court. There are, there are five guys on the court. <sighs> Anyways, we'll get back to this in a moment. We're going to toss it up to Milena for the half-court, halftime show. Hello, and welcome back to the court. We are here with a very special halftime show today. Uh, we are going to be making uh, shots at the hoop. I think it's called a hoop from the middle here of the court. So if you make the shot, we have a grand prize. We have a grand prize for whoever makes that one shot. Here it's coming. What do you think it is? What is it? Is it a car? No, it's better. It's a computer. It's not a broken down bad car. It's a fully functioned, amazing computer. Look at this. If you make this shot, you win this computer. I just wanted to see something real quick. Yeah. Russell, you're gonna get dust on it. It's gonna lose value. I'm just trying to see. Russell. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Anyone else want to pee? I think we have a contestant right here ready. She's ready to go. Yeah. She's gonna make the half court shot. Can we wheel this to the side a little bit? Put the prize on. Some of Cypher's friends here today. Uh, can we have Cam and Rex come here, please? We have two people from the audience. They're gonna try to make the shot. And if they make it, you win a computer. You guys only have one shot. Are you excited? Oh, that's easy. I'm like, Curry. I'm excited. We're gonna make it. You think so? Yeah, of course. They call me Curry. Who wants to start? Rock, paper, scissor. (laughs) All right, let's go. Rock, paper, scissor, shoot. Easy. Okay. All right, I win this right now. We win the ball, though. Cam starts. Can we have a ball? Can we have a ball? Ready for the half court shot. Wait. This one? This is kind of farther than I thought, I ain't gonna lie. They're looking for the shooter! Oh! Oh god. Rex's turn. I'm not athletic. Alright, here we go. He's already making excuses. You can do it. I'm not making excuses. Come on! Yeah! Yes! yeah! You did it! Very nice. Did it. Nice. That not, that's not really quite what I expected from you guys. <laughs> hmm. Joyce, you want to try? Joyce? No, no, I can't. You sure? You can win a computer. Let her do it. Let her do it. Yeah! Give it up for the Woo! Anything go to the <laughs> no, you can do it. She can take the fanny pack off. She can take it. It's a half court shot. <laughs> We're not changing the rules, not even for Emmy. I can't throw it that far. Let her try a three pointer. Okay. Really, she can do a half court shot. I don't break one. Right. Are oh, we changing the rules? Yeah. Oh, where do I start? Mom, 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 uh, right here with three point line. Right here with three point line, mom. Right up here. Right up here. Right okay. up here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Yeah, I'm, I'm Tips, you heard you that? Got right? this. You got this. You got this. You got this. We might, might be able to go like right. No, no, no. Right here. You're good right there, mom. We'll be all right. Yeah. 
I was adopted. I was adopted. <laughs> How about... You know what? We should just ask our security guard to do it. No, no, no not the ref. That's cheating. Just take a shot. No, no, you're kidding. Make the ref do it after you. I mean, oh, okay. Oh, well. No, it's you, me, it's I mean, you guys versus each other. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to make you do it. <laughs> oh, man. Look, you can win this computer. Huh? I think it's hard, man. You can do that. Oh, it was a great try. It was a great try. T? Okay. We're gonna Here he comes. Yeah. Here, yeah, cool. No pressure. No pressure. It's the computer. Oh, oh no! Oh! Oh! oh. 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 So close. No, you're a part. You're playing. We're gonna we're gonna you get through everyone before we go to the player. actual players. Yeah, really, you should. Can we let Finn try? You've had all your chances. Finn? <laughs> no, he's wearing that. Finn, do it. Jacob, come do on, it. Jacob. I think employees can win it. Come on. I'll do it. Come on, go do it. Get the ball. Okay. Not rigged. Come on. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> I mean, you want to try? Deserved. Bye, computer. Bro, I Bye, team. Like yeah. Good luck next round. That, that, Woo. Was that was a Wow, what a halftime. I, dude, the air that that ball had, I was like, there's no way this thing's going in. And it was perfect. I mean, beautiful. Look, look beautiful. Fan. I, I want to recreate that technique that my man mm -hmm. had right there once again. He, yeah, he, had, it, he had it like this, right? And he mm. grannied the ball up. He thrift putts did it. Look, 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 look at that hip drive. And then made the bucket with a perfect swoosh. You don't even you don't see that every day as fan. Mm. You don't see that. Phenomenal. Never. And Phenomenal. now he's gets to he gets to walk home with a Starforge PC gaming yeah, so system. Big. Big congrats to Wajito for winning that. Uh, do, yeah, can we get a replay of that real quick? Instant replay. So Break it down that. for us, S fan. So you see him, he walks up, boom, right foot, left foot. He gets set. He gets his arms back. He gets loaded here, right? And as you can see, he cocks his hips back. And oh. just like Myth said, he uncoils the snake. Boom. 
right up there at a solid that looks somewhat like a uh that looks like a 50 degree angle going up lots of power beautiful shot right into the net phenomenal I, phenomenal I, you know what I else just, is phenomenal yeah what's about up, about uh, about that shot is what if you else? take a look at what Wajito was wearing, he was wearing OTK merch, which again, there is a spring sale going on 40% off. Are, wait, are they mm -hmm. smoking? Or yep. Um, Sear OTK and spring sale, 40% uh, off at otknetwork.com. Uh, you guys can check that out right now. Sorry, Myth, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, there. you're, you're fine. You're fine. OTK spring sale up to 40% off. otknetwork.com. But yes, Sear and uh, Will decided to take a little indoor smoke break uh, during this half. Uh, I don't, I don't know what that's going to do for the performance necessarily, S fan. But Man, I, I, just, um, I don't see it being good. I don't see it being good at all. How do you feel though, S fan? T take me through this because we we are at halftime. Mm -hmm. This is the longest break that any of these players on the court are going to have. What do you expect to happen in this second half, in this later half of the game, S fan? Well, I think the big thing here is breaks are good. You have breaks. You have opportunities for, for guys to, to catch wind, to, to get ready to go again. But a big issue is who is going to come out of half and not be cold. And it looks like they're starting mm -hmm. right here. It looks like they're about to start. If they come in and they don't find a way to stay limber, stay loose, I could see some of these guys tightening up. And uh, especially fan, Nick has, I wanna, some, has some problems with that. I want to hear the fire since we're coming off this big break. Could we hop into another Star Forge listening just for maybe a few minutes at the start of this round? I want to hear what these players got cooking for them. I would, I would love that. We'll have a little bit of a Star Forge listening right quick. Okay. I mean, that was a hell of a listening that we had right there. I mean, I, I really, I couldn't just hear, but I felt the thud of uh, Wake Wilder hitting the uh, hitting the court there whenever he, uh, he got tripped up trying to go for that layup. So I don't know, it looked almost like he was going for the dunk. So I thought he was getting a little bit advantageous. I thought he was maybe feeling himself for blue team being up one point. And I figured he was trying to make the bucket happen in a stylish fashion. I think he yeah. was. I think he was. Actually, could we get a little bit of a Starforge volume raise on uh, the court volume? I if, would love uh, a little possible. Starforge volume raise. Oh, there we go. That is good right there. I like that. All right. It is back in the man that is repping the red, the white, the blue, and the stars and the stripes. Wake. Come on, baby. Make something happen for us. We want to see it. This is all what we're here for. Russell once again losing the goddamn possession of the motherfucking ball. Never mind, he's got control of it still. So I don't know what is going on with Russell right now, but look, you gotta focus on playing the damn game, Russell. That's for me. Look, he's he, the, he's not trying to play the he's trying to play a different game. He's not trying to play basketball, he's trying to play theater. Okay, it's not about the theatrics, it's about who can play the damn game, Russell. That is true. That is a good point, S fan. But now we're back on page with Cypher PK doing Cypher, I'm gonna need you to pass the goddamn ball. All right. You got, you're, going, you're trying to make a, a layup with three blue team members in your way. Stop for a second and breathe. The big thing with Cypher is, uh, I mean, the physicality is there. He's got the height, he's got the speed, he's got the agility, and uh, really makes an impressive play to take the lead again. It is back 
and fourth. This is an incredibly, incredibly close match so far. The, the lead changes have happened non-stop to open up the third quarter. And it's That's gonna fair. be a very exciting finish, I think. I didn't expect this. You didn't I, expect this. I did I certainly didn't. I, I, I Nobody that, uh, expected this. I think a lot of people thought the game was gonna go how it started, with a nine to two lead from the red team. And there we have Wake trying once again to use his height to his advantage, but it doesn't seem to work. Yeah. Chance calling for his teammate to beat the shit out of his opponent, which I respect gratefully. I think we need more of that aggression on the court from the blue team, potentially from the red team as well. Look, I like, I like aggressive basketball. Uh, I mean, yeah. I, I think going out there and, and really having guys get into it and uh, get down and dirty, I, I think that's what you got to do sometimes uh, and, and really show off the mental and physical toughness uh, to, to be able to finish the game. So uh, I like that they're willing to do that. I like that they're willing to get their hands in there and get dirty. Um, mm -hmm. But you got to do it the right way, you know. You have to do it the right way. Thank God we were talking about all that instead of Will Neff missing three consecutive uh, shots. You know, and, and that's the thing. Sometimes, you know, you, you win some, you lose some. And that's, uh, and, and that's, how, that's what we saw from Will at the beginning of the game. He did miss a few shots at the beginning, and then, and then he got hot in the second quarter. So maybe we're going to see the same thing. You know, we're coming in the third quarter. Maybe he gets hot again in the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. There we go. E-Rob making his opponent believe that he is tripping and falling. But in reality, he's using his big brain to get a recovery, to pass it to Will, and then it going back to the hands of Red Team. I'm torn right now. Who do you want to win right now, S fan? Is there is there is there a favorite that you got going into this after this half? Is it starting to go underway? Uh, I mean, I'll be honest. I'm. Uh, you know, I I could tell you that. Uh, Come on, Will! Play! I just want to see a good game. Play! Uh, I could tell you that. I could tell you that I just want to see a good game, but I'd be lying to you. Uh, I, I really want to see uh, Blue Team turn this thing around and uh, defy all odds. You know, everybody had them counted out at the beginning. I think it'd be really impressive to see Blue Team come through and finish. I, I, I got to say, uh, S-Fan, I agree with you entirely. Every word that you said. I think the, mm -hmm. the story that the blue team has going into it, you have Soda Poppin, you have Will Neff, you have all these people that bring such great characters and such great games to the court, and a big pass from Will to Tech Tone. Tech Tone using that height to tower over BJP and make a big bucket happen for the blue team. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Blue team taking the lead again. Ooh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Will Neff with a meaty throw to E-Rob. E-Rob not being able to find the ball, unfortunately. Um, not what we expect out of E-Rob. We, we expect E-Rob to catch those balls right there. We expect yeah, him mean, to catch those balls every time. But he doesn't no, I mean, catch he those balls right there. He has a lot of experience right with that. He, uh, he, he has dealt with a lot of balls in his lifetime, uh, uh -oh. being a tight end in high school. Now, oh, Tech Tone with another two points? As that fan, was badass, I believe. This game is over. I want, to, I want to let the audience know. I want to let everybody watching know this game is over. Do you want to know why? Why is that, man? Blue team has found their goddamn secret weapon, and that is have Tectone sit under the basket and not go to the other side of the court and wait for the turnover and then use his height to just fucking put the bucket right in the basket. Yeah, Look at red team. I, I think that's a what bold is, strategy myth. We can see how it works out for him. Watch. Look at here we go. Will Neff lobs it. Wake to Tech. Tech in the basket. Well, a little bit off the script there, but they're going to get the recovery, and I think it's going to be off the red. I'd like, I'd like to see a little red. bit more aggression out of Tech Town. I'd like to see a little bit more aggression uh, work into the basket from Tech Town. Using, using that height to his advantage, like you said, uh, a little bit more. Agreed. Agreed. Will Neff with a jumper, making it in. Oh, there it is. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Will Neff, ladies and gentlemen. But look at here, BJP showing that he is here to play, and there's another up and down. <laughs> so we had simply attempting to BLJ on the court. He was trying to skip straight to, uh, straight to third Bowser. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Unfortunately, this game is glitchless. Oh, the ball is making its way. And oh, I love Soda's technique when he tries running fast. He doesn't really move his legs up off the floor, but he moves them really fast. It looks like he looks like one of them, the motherfucking, you know, the cartoons where they got the skeletons to go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, or exactly. like in SpongeBob, the little things in SpongeBob. Yep, I 100% I see that. This motherfucker runs like Mr. Krabs trying to chase a penny down the block. <laughs> so we see extra Emily is in the game. Uh, so blue team's X Factor player is now in the game. Uh, she can play any position on the court, as you can see. <laughs> yep. She has incredible defensive technique uh, yep, and really lately. knows what she's doing. Mm -hmm. Here we go, though. Ball movement coming out from red team. This is what we've needed to see from red team. We need to see this ball movement happen. But there it is. E-Rob running backwards, taking the ball up back to Will, and the possession goes back to red team. But red team, get that ball moving, get it engaged, get it in there. Those are the three gets. Get it done. Oh, and I thought he was about to get it done right there. But unfortunately, BJP could not finish. Cypher's got an opportunity here to make a play. Trying to get red team back in the lead. Can Miz make a play? Brings it back into Cypher, who goes for it. Wake with the rebound. Off the break right here, it's three on one. And oh. E-Rob cannot finish. Oh, but here's Wake. Can he get the dunk now? And he gets it! Big dunk from Wake Wilder. Lay it on him. There it is. First dunk of the game. You know he's been waiting to do that. Ooh. NMP takes it up. Can't seem to find anything, but here we go. It's Will Neff. It's the blue team. It's the potential dominators of the game. They got players ready on standby on bench. E Rob under the basket, I think. No. Oh, it's their possession, actually. Red team hits it out. S fan, it's your turn, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm just enjoying right here. Well, thanks to Emily actually scoring. <laughs> actually, actually scoring some points, uh, which is something that, you know, again, one of her many talents that we've seen on the court today. We didn't mention how she can play every position, and uh, she is just, I mean, offensively, defensively, just really in the right place at the right time. Incredible, <laughs> incredible court awareness. That was an incredible shot coming out of Extra Emily, like you predicted it before the game even started, S fan. She is yes. an absolute tyrant all over the court. Absolutely. <laughs> Wait going in, passing to Russell. That oh. ball accidentally was almost shot. <laughs> Russell almost makes his first shot of the game accidentally. That is what we like to see. Sensi. <laughs> Wake, trying to make a play here. Hands it off to Will. Tectone, going with your strategy, Myth, of staying under the basket to a T. Uh, mm -hmm. Not even trying to <laughs> catch that pass, unfortunately. But. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. 35 seconds left. Cypher driving it to make it happen. They're looking for some control of the ball underneath the bucket, but it's back in the hands of. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It is off on the red side. BJP letting that ball loose. Mm. Wait, wait. Oh, it's back to red team. And they're off hot. Blue team caught lacking. Slacking. That? That's what they call that, S fan. You know, that's what they call it. Slacking. No, they were slacking. They were, they, were, they, were, they were slacking. They were slacking. That's that right? They're slacking. You said it right. I'm trying. I'm, I'm a little bit hoarse. I, 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 I'm a little bit ill. I'm a little bit sickly. That's okay, baby. Because E-Rob is making that bucket happen right before the buzzer beats. And yeah, that's exactly why E-Rob is my top pick. Okay, well, hey, look, E-Rob e has had a great game so far. He really has. He really has had a great game so far. But uh, I, I'm telling you, he can't do it. He cannot do it without Wake Wilder and Will Neff. He just cannot do it without Wake Wilder and Will Neff. It's, it's just that simple. You're, you're not wrong. You know what, Espen? I'll give that to you. You're not wrong. And, and that, also, Especially that quarter. Mm -hmm. Also, Extra that, Emily. If you get extra Emily, 
under the basket, it's game over. Extra Emily under the basket is, is going to be your X factor. That is what you need to do in order to win this game. Couldn't agree with you anymore. But now I think we should take hey, a little on. Star Force just Don't to listen in as on. these players are taking a little break here. We're up. We're up five. Nice, nice. It's blue. blue you guys blue. had it. You guys had it last. Yeah, blue ball. Yeah. Oh, we're going the same way. Which one are we shooting on? We're going the same way. Same way. That was a mistake. Yeah, yeah, it's not. We need to take a break. No, 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 you have to play out. I got you. You ready? You guys ready? Yep. No. You guys are still winning. Let's go! Red! Play! Let's get in. Let's get in. Tech, get under. Tech, get under the basket. All right, we are back here for the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. And blue team is coming out aggressive right off the bat. And that is red ball. Yep. Blue giving up that first possession. Blue team giving up that first possession, uh, handing it right back to the red team as fan. Um, look, it's... It's not impossible for red team. If you are a red believer, I'm gonna need you to, one, have a little bit of hope for your team here. Nick Paul wants to play defense, and he's gonna get the opportunity to on this blue side as, sorry, I, I lost words to trade a thought. Okay, Miskip actually picks back up the ball, and it's Cypher PK taking it down the court and making something happen. It make, they make nothing happen. Never mind, man. This goddamn team, bro. Hey, I, 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 hey, really, I really hey. try, bro. It just happens sometimes. They don't, they don't give me a goddamn hey. opportunity to give them the credit, bro. Well, look, it's just it's one of those things, man, where sometimes you just you want to you wanna let them cook and, you know, they, they end up burning the steak. Who let, so, who let them cook? Hey, whoever did shouldn't have. All Let's right. see Cypher here <laughs> trying to work their team oh. back in. <clears throat> Unfortunately, misses the first one. All right, but if Cypher needs to not dribble the ball three times, if he, he's, nah, he missed. Two dribbles is Cypher's key thing. Everyone Absolutely. knows that. Absolutely. Everyone knows that. Every time he's dribbled it twice, it goes in. Whenever he dribbles it three times, statistically, he never makes it. Yeah, and that, that, that is actually, uh, we, we had that on the, uh, on the stat tracker, and you can see that on the uh, website for Game Day Plus. Uh, mm -hmm. which is uh, coming soon. You can uh, pay for a <laughs> monthly subscription of that, only $999,000 per month. Ooh, but look awake here. Faking him out. William passing the ball around. Look at this ball movement coming out of blue team. Can they be stopped? Look this at blue them. Team, I'm telling you, blue team is, is they, they found a way to, they found a way to win. To wake. Wow, wake. 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 Wake from downtown. And I believe that was three. He wake said, is really wake up, on. wake up, wake up. It's the second of the month. Come you on know, wake, now, Wake. That was three. Yes, we got confirmation that that was three. Now, Third Wake came month. in and, and uh, I, I talked a lot about Wake's ability to, to, like I said, direct traffic and really to find uh, open passing lanes and put guys in good positions to make plays early on in the game. But I think as, uh, as time has gone on and fatigue has started to set in, uh, I think Wake's uh, been able to take the game into his own hands a little bit, and he's really, really picked it up. Yes, so, yes. I think okay, both now... these guys who were uh, the first picks for their respective teams, Cypher and Wake, were uh, phenomenal choices for first picks. Indeed. I couldn't agree with you anymore here, as fan. But now as we, as we bring the ball back to blue team, we are seeing, look at, look at Miss Kiff. He's fucking. He's stumbling over his feet with that ball movement. They got the three amigos, left, right, pass, dribble, under, left, right. And they're almost looking like the three stooges, if you ask me. I mean, I, I think they could use some work. It's not looking great right now. Blue team is really starting to separate. Yeah. I mean, listen, red team, you got to start moving that ball around if you want to have a chance. Nick Pollum with the... <laughs> 
Now, a lot of people see, have. Uh, you see how Nick, Nick, you see how Nick ran away from the motherfucker like he got that bitch in. <laughs> <laughs> It's sometimes, sometimes it's look, sometimes what it comes down to, it's about you gotta know, you gotta know. Look, I don't care if it's going in or not, I gotta get ready to make the next play. So I, I like that from Nick. I like that from Nick. That's actually a good like, play. That's good, that's that, good play by him. You are you know, as fan, maybe I have been a little bit rude. Maybe I have been a little bit insensitive. Okay, I will concur. I agree. I agree. Nick is actually just showing that hustle, which we all gotta respect. So I'm actually getting in a story from the, I'm getting a story in from production right now. Uh, we we spoke with team doctors before the game. They had pregame physicals for all the players for the uh, pregame check-in. Mm -hmm. It looks like Wake Wilder yes. actually had, it looks like he's he tested positive for the flu. So oh, Wake is flu. here. Wake, yes, he he has the flu right now. And he is actually out no. there performing as well as he is with the flu. That's phenomenal. That is actually phenomenal. To, to be able to keep his stamina up and to be able to play the way that he is, incredible. Incredible. Sheesh. We've never seen anything like him. Ooh. Will Neff off the three throw. Three, free, off the free throw? Three throw. Off the free throw. Getting another bucket to make that point divide just a little bit bigger for the blue team. What is that? Oh, Will Nap! Oh! oh Nap. Off the backboard! <laughs> the backboard. I didn't even know that was legal. Is that legal? Hey, it is now. OTK All right. game day, anything mm -hmm. can happen. I love that. Nick Palm with the ball again. Miss Kiff, Miss Kiff to. Miss Miss Kiff to, to Cypher Cypher looking for an opportunity to make the bucket happen. The, the ball's it's the ball's back in the play. Really incredible here. Wake's really stepping up. Performing under the lights, <laughs> under the pressure, with the big flu game. Oh Cypher unfortunately barely misses the dunk. Oof. I think right now, as fan, we're seeing the exhaustion come in to creep on these professional athletes, right? I mean, Cypher PK is getting fouled like no other. Um, he, he, uh, I think this is maybe his fourth or fifth uh, free throw here. And he now could close this gap a little bit more. And they got eight minutes left. Anything could happen. He dribbled it twice. Okay, it was out still. Never I mind. I thought he had it. I thought he had it. <clears throat> I thought he had I mean, it I'm too. Not, I'm not. I'm not surprised. I'm really not surprised that he's gotten so many free throws in, uh, because they they have to foul him to stop him. That's their only opportunity. That's Never the mind. Opportunity they have. By my professional when he, sources. When he gets in the paint. No, sorry. Go, go ahead. ahead. You have a, you no, have no, a sorry. Go ahead. No, no. You no, go no, ahead. You, no, you go, no, no. You, you go ahead. It, it's fine well, though. Actually, really, I'm it was. Not, it, was no, it didn't can, matter. It really. I was wrong anyways. Do you want to? Are you sure? You could go ahead. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, I forgot what I was gonna say. Well, anyways, what I was going to say is that, you know, we found another opportunity to foul Cypher PK, which I think is brilliant. Um, so now we're going to see one, two. He dribbled it twice. Here it is. Here it is. And it's in. And there it is. Cypher dribble it twice. Stop dribbling it three times. I'm telling you. Two, two dribbles and it's in. Two dribbles and it's in. That's exactly how it works. And one, but look at the score now. It's an eight-point game, baby. E Rob running to his side of the court. Then to the other side. Oh, oh. oh my gosh. E Rob. Oh. S Fan. How many times? Three. E Rob, a performer, an athlete, a gamer, a menace, a demon, a king. A team captain. Captain of the Blue Putting team. buckets the up! Once again, 42 to 54. What is happening, Blue Team? Do you want to know what's happening right now, E-Rob? Let me tell you. The power of E-Rob is finally being unlocked and untapped by the Blue Team in the second half. E-Rob is doing a fantastic job. He really is. I think he's, I think he's really gotten the up opportunity to open up the, uh, <clears throat> open up the game and really open up his own talents with, uh, oh my with the way God. this game is played out.
I have never been more happy in my life of professional casting than watching E-Rob do what needs to be done on this goddamn court. Well, and there's Nick bringing them back. 44 to 54. It is a 10 point game with six and a half minutes left. Oh, red team playing aggressive. With Nick with a back to back. NMP. Back to back scores. Okay. 46 okay. to 54. It is now an eight point game. <clears throat> Anything can Nick. happen here on OTK Game Day Basketball. Mm -hmm. Nick seeing E-Rob cook it up in the kitchen a little, and he said, hold on, wait a minute. I'm going to get up in there as well and try to make something happen. And he did. And so I want to see a little bit more of that come out of Nick. We see a little bit of aggression onto Will Neff. Will Neff driving it up the court. Nothing to stop him. They got to play better defensively. I, I think red team is, is again a little bit too offensively or offensive with their, uh, with their formation, with their strategy. They're trying to score but they cannot let their defense fall apart. Yep. I couldn't have said it any better myself, as fan. But now, oh, red team, wake up! Oh. As I really feel like that fatigue is setting in. <laughs> it oh, is. Extra Emily misses, which is a huge surprise. Yeah, I really, major. I thought, I thought she was going to go for the dunk, to be completely honest with you. Ooh. Oh, but they have, it's two guys on one, and they can't seem to put the ball in the basket. Red team. They're falling apart all over the place right now, S fan, and it's sad to see. But we got Miss Kiff with a with a big backboard shot. Nice attempt, but it's back to extra Emily. The X Factor. Unfortunate. Blue team has extra Emily just sitting on the other side of the court. I love that. I mean they found their strength. They did. Oh, and red team again with two. Ooh. Four minutes and 40 seconds on the clock as Will Neff spikes the ball to E-Rob. And E-Rob, another massive one to put in. But he's not able to find it. Let's see. Let's see what it's Nick gonna can do back. with this. Nick's going to take the shot. Go for three. Oh, so close. So mm. close. Feels like we've seen this position multiple times. Will Neff, Ms. Kiff. Which one of them could get through each other's defense? He, Will's doing his best. He jumps and he unfortunately you know, you know really has like the see, uppies. It, this, is, this is something I really like to see out of the blue team. The blue team has not really changed their strategy based on the current circumstances of the game being almost over, them being up. They're not playing scared. They're playing the same exact basketball that they've been playing for the last four quarters. Oh and that is incredibly impressive with Wake dropping in another two points. Incredible. Just Wait, keep looking like the white basket and Michael Jordan. Win. He really, you know, you know, it's crazy. He played a game with a flu, didn't he? He's doing that right now. That's incredible. All right. Now, Will Neff doing everything he can to get these his teammates to get the to blue just, team to come. Yes, he wants them to come. Mm -hmm. He just and needs them to come. Forward, Wake comes back to the ball, takes the ball in, gets the ball to Chance, and Chance goes in and misses, unfortunately. BJP takes it. <clears throat> Nick is down the court already, ready to score. Oh, here we go. Big pass to Cypher, and Cypher's going to try to take that right in front of their faces. Nick Pollum finds the ball again behind the back. Wow. Swoosh! What a, what a, what a Great job from Nick Pollum. That was incredible. Woo. It is a six point game. Anything can happen. Red team can still bring it back. Absolutely true. But if Red team plans to bring it back, they need somebody to be helping Nick. They need somebody to be putting in the points that NMP is putting up. Clutch, let's go. NMP is on fire. Nick Pollum this quarter is looking like LeBron before the trades. Do you get what I'm saying, S fan? He is looking incredible. I mean, he's, he would definitely be a first round draft pick if the draft were to happen after this game. It would be incredible. Absolutely. Somebody incredible. help him. Give him some assistance, please. You, red team is down by four points. They've got to be aggressive here. Ooh, back to Will. Will with the fadeaway for the two. Isn't able to get it. 
Pass the Cypher. Rebound. <clears throat> Cypher, get that ball moving around. Ooh. A good attempt. Oh, we had Nick with offensive rebound again. Blue needs it. We did not. That's one. That's a big. That's a big one out. But wait, wait a second. Oh no, this could be really. Oh, never mind. I thought Cipher PK was hurt. He is not. He may be. He's just, just chilling. fighting through it. He just vibing. <clears throat> Damn. Well, All right. Uh, but, it's, I, I seem to be getting a report here. Uh, What's up? It turns out it wasn't actually the flu. It was uh, food poisoning. Oh, well, I'm yeah. glad that he's not on the court spreading a um, infectious disease to other people. Well, we're still going to call this the flu game because it sounds cool. Gotcha. Will do. All right. Red team needs to score right now if they want to make this happen. They keep going for these threes, but it's not what they need. They need to get closer to the court and make something happen under the bucket. Maybe a pass to Nick Paulum right now. Boar. BJP to Cypher. They needed that right now, and now it's Will driving it up. It's E-Rob trying to make something happen of it. <clears throat> They're fighting for the ball. They're playing dirty. Oh, my God. They are physically assaulting each other. While Soda Poppins on the side. I'm sure this is illegal. This is, this is illegal in several states, to be honest. Get that ball. Get that ball. <laughs> Cypher, oh, you got to make those. Oh, okay. 39 seconds left in the game. They are down two baskets. This, this is good though. Cypher got fouled, didn't he? Or are they timing out? I think, I think it was, uh, oh I my think God, it looked like a foul. Again. Wait, he didn't get fouled. Fouled? Was no Not foul. fouled. Let's see what the call no foul? on the court. Maybe, we can, he, maybe we can listen in with our uh, Star Forge audio. Yes. I think they are all taking a little breaky time and yeah, getting like some water. Uh, interesting. With 39 hey. seconds. Uh, I, I think this was a, a red team timeout to take a little breaky. Um, well, they're going to rehydrate, refuel, and maybe they'll feel better. I wanted to say, as with all good basketball, the last two minutes is going to last about two hours. So uh, mm -hmm. we're going to be very excited to see how this game finishes up here within the next couple of hours. Mm -hmm. And uh, the red team is down by four points. So it's going to be intense. The, you know, this game has been incredibly close. This has been incredibly close, incredibly entertaining. Uh, yes. And, I mean, really, blue team was the underdogs going into this. I mean, everybody had them counted out. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, red team definitely, definitely played well um, so far. And I, and I think there's uh, – you, you could see on the court why – People thought red team was going to uh, was going to win this game, handedly. I mean, but it's been incredibly close, and they could still win. But uh, he dribbled, see how this dude, plays was, that, out. was that three times? I think it was three. I think it was three. What are you doing, Cipher? Son of a bitch. One, two. Oh, it was two. It was two. Oh, okay. They're down by three, 55 to 58. Red's got to put on the gas now. It's now or never. Okay, they've here got, we go. They, they've got to play Move the, the ball. best defense of their lives. Throw it. 23 seconds. <clears throat> we do need a scoreboard update for it to be 55-58. Oh. BJP if they get a three, three, they get it tied up right here. Almost. This is a good attempt. Nine seconds left on the clock. Nine Blue seconds team. left. Blue team calls for a timeout. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, sorry. They're just getting, getting ready, getting in position to, to move here. I wish I knew more about basketball so that I could effectively communicate. But I don't. Well, and here's the thing. Sometimes you just have to sound like you do. <clears throat> Man. And that's Agreed. all that really matters. Which that is something that I, I will do, is try to sound like I know about basketball. And mm -hmm. what we're seeing today, guys, is this is something that, that happens all the time. You've got nine seconds left and something is happening. This is such a pathetic fucking view from both of these teams. Just play the goddamn game and stop holding the ball, all right? 
Move that shit. There's five seconds left. Blue team's got it. And I believe that's game. That game over. is game. There we that go. That is game. What an incredible basketball game. My goodness. Wow. Blue team against all odds coming in the clutch. Red team almost tied it up at the end there. They were bringing it back. But Blue I team can't held it. on. And that was an absolutely incredible Incredibly entertaining basketball game. We're still, you know, I can't believe it, but let's go and do a little listening here. Yeah. Good times. Good shit, man. Good fucking shit. We tried our best. Bro, I threw that game, bro. I'm embarrassed at myself, dude. Okay. If I played like the fourth quarter, we would have won that easy. Mm. Gladiator. The problem was, it was Tectone. He was in my head, bro. He was like, Nick, was you Russell, suck. Did you just hear Russell too? Yeah, the bro. Game? They, 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 they took me off my game. I, I threw that game. That's my no, fault. No, but we saw what you were going for in the end. You did great. You I did threw great. the game, man. Hey, no, they're, call, don't they're calling you Brick Palm. Oh, I threw it, man. Brick Palm? That's on me. <laughs> Nick, come on. You uh, did great. At least I didn't okay. get hurt, though. Uh, well, we are going to vote for the MVP. So, Chad, if you want to vote, yes, we can see you. Right there, we can see you. Um, Brick him. We're going to vote for the MVP of the game, and then whoever wins will get a nice surprise, you know? <laughs> So let's MVP, just remember who MVP. played and who played well. You can vote now. Who was the MVP today? Oh, Guys, who do you think was the MVP? Oh, Billy yeah. Butter. No big deal. Russell. It was Russell. Russell. No big deal. Is no the, big if deal. the MVP was shouting, yeah, Russell would have fucking won. Just screaming Russell so was in, I, was in, I was in everyone's head. He was in my game. head the whole time. Yeah. I couldn't get him Everyone. Out. Okay. Will, Wake, or Nick for the blue team? No, oh. bro. Oh. Damn. How, how would he rob that? Damn, did you hear what he just said? <laughs> He said Nick got MVP for throwing <laughs> for the blue team. That's so messed up. <laughs> Who do you think should get it? Oh, Billy Butter. Who's that? Will. Oh, okay. Yeah. Billy Butter. Billy Butter because he's on a roll. Okay. We're waiting for the results. We're waiting for the results. Me. <laughs> I should get it. I don't know what this was about. I had to take these off because the first quarter I couldn't. I'm in pain. <laughs> that hurted. But we, no, we won. My leg really hurts. Out there. Dude, well. I'm well, ready to go again. You talking to me? You trying to get a trying to get a word out of me? I'll tell you a thing or two. I'll tell you a thing or two right now. Yeah, yeah. Went out there. Put on the glasses. Had the specs. Let me tell you something. Perfect vision. 2020. You don't want it. It's not that important. What happens is the vision of the heart. I took these things off. Had better control of the ball. Better equilibrium. Dexterity. Yes, coach. Biggest issue we have. Biggest issue we have. Let me tell you. Is when we go ahead and we think our hearts work, our ears work, our eyes work. They don't. You need blind, blind faith, intuition, trust. You can feel the ball. You don't need to see it. You need to feel it. Feel it. That's what I think we did today. I love you, the Coach. Winner. Right. The winner of today's MVP, to no surprise, is Wake. Woo! Woo! There you go. I love you, Good yeah. shit, baby. You're goddamn right. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something, though. There was someone uh, who was uh, working like an animal, up and down the court. He was going. Quick dribbles, right to left. Pulls up, splashes from the mid range, and then be Will. And if I had, to, if I had to say, I'd say that Will was a more significant contributor today. I'd like to give it to Will. Wake, thank you so much. Being a yeah. But there is someone who helped our team more than anybody. Someone who really dialed in for the blue team. That's Nick Pollum. Where are you, Nick? Nick? Yeah, yeah. Where's Nick Pollum? Break. Yo, break. Get over yeah. here. Hey. You deserve this, baby. This, this is all yours. Go, Nick. Thank you. I'm the reason you won for sure, so I'll take it. <laughs> Force Wake to keep this, even though you probably don't know. <laughs> no, that was just um, but we are ready to go back oh. to Myth and S Fan. Thank you for tuning in and have a great day. Wow. Thank what you very much, Melena. Here. Thank you, Melena. What but, yeah. a performance at the uh, end of the game. That trophy presentation was a sight to behold. Absolutely, it was. Uh, you know, we're very happy. Congratulations to Wake Wilder for uh, winning the game. Uh, with the blue team against all odds being the MVP and uh, big thanks to myth for joining us today myth is uh, <laughs> myth myth is coming to us all the way from uh, LA to actually join us here on the uh, sunshine Podcast California the yes, fans. Mm -hmm. sunshine California sunshine thank you very California. much for having me I appreciate yeah. it this was a great time
And I'm glad to watch these um, athletes perform at what they mm. do best. Indubitably, indubitably. Now we have a couple things we want to talk about before we go. Uh, first of which is emote only on Tectone's stream. Emote only, the finale is going to be happening uh, on March 9th, Thursday, March 9th. So you guys can watch that over on Tectone's channel on Thursday. Also, we had a brand new Steak and Eggs podcast drop this morning. Uh, Friday is at 9 a.m. Steak and Eggs podcast with Asma Gold, Emeru, and Tectone on uh, on Fridays. And uh, we will be having OTK Game Day return, not next week, but the week after. So next week is a bye week for game day. And then the following week, we'll be, we will be back with softball. And the week after mm -hmm. that, on the 24th, will be the game day finale, which will be flag football, which we are very excited for as well. Uh, <clears throat> Myth, do you have anything else you want to uh, you want to mention? Um, what do you think today? What's your what's your takeaway <clears throat> from this game? My takeaway is that I think red, I think blue team had more gas. I think they had more gasolina, you know? Mm -hmm. I think that they were willing to work when red team wasn't willing to work. Mm -hmm. And that's really all it is. That's all it comes down to at the end of the day, S fan. And I think that's why blue team took it away. You think that determination allowed them to finish the game? The the Maybe not the ability on paper, but it was the determination to drive through to finish through the end of the game, the stamina really coming into play. I mean, Exactly. When you when you hover over some of the red players at the at the later half of the game, you've seen some of them taking breaks. Motherfucker, you had Cipher. Cipher was huffing and puffing. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was on mm -hmm. one knee. My mm -hmm. man was rep. You know what I'm saying? But blue team, every time they had the ball, it was pure aggression. Mm -hmm. It was very very aggressive, and really they couldn't keep it up. I mean that's the that's the big problem is you you come out there they and could you, not. You, you you burn through that gas early on. It's not gonna work. Uh, you know what is gonna work though? What is gonna OTK work? OTK merch. Ooh. OTK merch is gonna work. Yes. You guys can go to otknetwork.com. The spring sale is on right now, up to 40% off of everything. Uh, up to 40% off of everything. We've got uh, tons of merch still available. A lot of you guys have already heard about it because the uh, we, we've seen from the results of the sales so far today, but there's still plenty left. They you guys can check crew it neck, out. Crew neck, $27. T-shirt, $18. Hoodie, $30. $9. Socks, $30. Sweats. She. Quality. Quality. OTK quality right there. And also something else that's quality is Starforge Systems. Starforge Systems, <clears throat> the best PCs in the universe. Next Gen Systems available now. You want to get yourself a brand new Voyager Creator Elite like I have, like NMP has, like Asmongold has. You guys can get it right here at StarForgeSystems.com. So check it out. And no, it is not a penis. It is a hammer, the logo. It's a penis. So it is, it's a hammer. It's like, it's it's literally, it's like the, 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 that part is like the, at the end of the hammer. So it doesn't like fly out of your hand when you're, you know, it's, All right, all right, all right, S fan, take it away. Okay, well, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for joining us here. If you are new here, make sure to follow the channel, make sure to follow the stream, uh, follow all the OTK stuff. Go check out Myth over on YouTube. He streams on YouTube. Uh, check out Myth stuff over there, and we will see you guys next time for OTK game day in two weeks and uh, game all the day! Other streams and all the other stuff going on. So, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Take it easy.